This show is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Without a healthy mind, being happy is hard. Visit BetterHelp.com slash peer and see if online therapy is for you. You know, you know, rich people, they buy like, like weird furniture. Like this is like a, oh, yo, that's a good deal for mm. a star chair. You know what I, you know he what said, I just he said? He said like he's not rich. No, 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 not like, not like that. Are you Wait, out of your did mind? you buy that? You know when I realized it you though? That? You try to buy that? No, not, it looks hideous. Uh -huh. I'm not, I'm not spending more than $500 on a couch. A thousand maximum. I'm about to say what a thousand max. I'm gonna say a thousand definitely is the max. Um, the, the, the couch, are more, couches are like couches run more than a thousand. But yeah. if you get them used, they're way cheaper. Just clean them when you get them. Okay, not used, but I, you can go. You can go. You can go to out. Yeah, you, go, you go to the outlet on in the east side of town. A lot oh, of them is used. You're a millionaire. No, yeah, they're used. You're a millionaire. And you said a lot. You will buy a thousand dollars. Hey, hey, now, hey, hey, I'm happy he finally admitted he's a millionaire. Uh, he said, "And I'm no, happy I'm he finally." Me, I just want to get to no, his point. I'm happy he finally admitted you're a millionaire. I'm saying, like, you're a millionaire, and you're gonna buy a thousand dollar used couch. No, yeah, no, no, you know what no, couches no, get used. used for? You got dogs, raw sex. Saliva when you niggas take naps. Sex, <laughs> sex alone. And, and you guys, know, we just—is it on? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's not use that word in the first couple minutes, then, right? No, guys? we've been talking for a minute. Out. Then what's the point of saying it if you know it's gonna be bleeped out? It's like a Kanye West album. But no, Caleb's not gonna bleep it out. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and we didn't, we didn't even challenge Caleb. He, on did, the last he actually podcast. did all the things. Yeah, no, no. Know. On the previous podcast, yeah, I'm he just did. saying he on did the last it, one, we didn't ask him to do nothing. So right. on this podcast, Caleb, I want you to um, have a football fly across the screen every ten minutes. That's an, okay. Just no. do it. Just no, do it. Just not do it. Just every do it. ten minutes. No, just do it. Just do what it. What about you, Lo? What's your request? Not every ten minutes, Caleb. When we, when we just say, just do it. When we say, what if we say a specific word and he has to like? If we say Clemson, throw a pick. Like <laughs> <laughs> when we say the, that's crazy. <laughs> every time we say the word the, this nigga John will be no. Like, but the reason so, why I say that so though, so the day I had, do you know it a, was the spectacular day was of the of the, the world <laughs> so far this of the of the year I had yeah. Yo, uh, the reason I say that, by the way, is because I found out Logan Paul's original couch was 250 bands. So I was like, hold on now. I didn't even know couches can go for that much. Oh, yeah, and it was sure. just a big ass circular couch. It looked good, but I buy it for like 3000 maximum. OK, that's so what I'm thinking. 250 couch bands is 3000. Yeah. So, um, yeah, what size? But What's then size? I thought, like, do you know Mercedes Benz like has couches? Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? They have couches? It's like the whole couch yeah. market that like regular people don't know about yeah. that wealthy people just waste their money on. But it's not well, wasting, dog. Come on, it's no, it's, it's an investment. That's a fact. Okay. Yeah, normal people knowing that Mercedes has a couch where they can't buy it. No, but you I know, didn't know, I didn't know that. You know about like what's an expensive watch? An AP? I don't know. Like you know about them, even but if he you don't. knows it just because of rap music. If, yeah. it, if it wasn't for rap, so they, they wouldn't. So rappers need to start rapping about some of this furniture out here that's going for three hundred bands. <laughs> no they cow. still wouldn't know. You why. think Pooh Shiesty cares about a Mercedes Benz couch? Yeah, trust but the me. only reason why he doesn't is because he can't flaunt it outside. Yeah, crazy that rappers never. They never. Outside of a house, they never actually yeah. rap about shit that it's at their house. Like. It's like only shit that you can see outside, like when they're walking. Yeah, well, and they should rap about like they a custom uh, shower head. Yeah, <laughs> maybe like diamonds in level the tub. three marble countertops. Yeah, yeah nobody knows how much they spent on a on a on a on a, on the uh, the kitchen countertops. Nobody never says that. A six foot tub. To put nobody, a bunch of hoochie mama never there. say that. Yeah, when you got like when you got marble in the entrance, in the entryway, Ooh, in the four year. Yeah. Oh, hit a lick on a nigga couch. <laughs> <laughs> Left the back door open, came in, took his couch. Yeah. Oh, chandelier. The chandelier is the only thing where they all like brag about, but everything else is like. Those are not even really standard no more. I, I know what I'm saying, but that's the only thing I hear like niggas like spend 100000 on a chandelier. But just to say it, just but to they, say it. But look, hold what on, rapper said that, though. Yeah, which one said that? Actually? Ross said that. Ross? He's old as fuck. He asked me which one, but you're saying like say rappers one, now. Those uh, he wants I, a, that's so what chandeliers. Fire, if you want a recent rapper, fuck it. All right, John. Oh, no, I don't know of a recent rapper. That's what I'm saying. That's <laughs> okay, what I'm saying. All right. I know. That's what I said. Chandeliers are so outdated. Like that was back. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day. But that's the only thing I know about when niggas rap about in your house. Now, the, the flex of a chandelier is not the chandelier itself. Is that you have a ceiling tall enough to hoist one? Exactly. And people fuck with tall ceilings. 
Um, I was watching a whole bunch of this. Uh, this is real estate guy on YouTube. I guess he used to have a show on television, but now he's called like Matt Sirhunt or something Sirhunt. Ryan might be. I don't mm. know. But anyway, I watched some of his videos and he was like, a rapper owns this beautiful uh, contemporary home in New York. And I'm telling you, it's like a seven story, 5,000, 6,000 square feet. And so I'm thinking like, which rapper has this? Be Jay-Z. The entire comment section was like, Travis Scott, Travis Scott, Travis Scott, Travis Scott. Are you Scott. serious? I was like, God damn, God damn. He li- he's living lavish. I'm like, I cannot believe he has not rapped about his wine That's what cellar. I'm yeah. yeah. You haven't said nothing about your collection of wine, Travis yeah, Scott. He's not, he's not drinking. He probably drink a wine, but it's not a flex. It's not about it's, it's not about the a drinking. wine cellar is a flex. Though. It's not about drinking, it's just it about on how crowd. much money you spent on the wine cellar to have wine that you're not, not drinking. Not only do you have to have the cellar, you have to populate it. And and it's with expensive wines. You can't even like go to the store and get cheap wines. Yeah, they gotta nigga, be because you, you get, get a cheap wine and put it in a wine cellar. You look crazy. You can't get that Kindle wine and try to put it in there. Nigga. You can't get Walmart wine. You can't put Stella Rosa in there. Oh. Nope. So you got I don't know what that is? Shutter yeah. Homes. He's just Hell, saying, no, think. absolutely not. Shutter Homes is a nasty wine. Every single time I see Shutter Homes, I immediately think of like like very desperate and like lonely women. That's what I think immediately. Desperate lonely, Desperate women. lonely women. You see Shutter Homes, Shutter see Homes, and, and Kindle. Those are the two. And how, are, are they are they pretty? Desperate lonely women. The ugly. I mean, they just woman. they're just desperate and lonely. That's all I just see. But when you when you see, is she ugly? primarily white women too? John, why are you going to go in this fucking dream yeah, and I'm get saying, her? What does, it matter? <laughs> what does it matter? I just want to know what you feel. I just see desperate lonely women who just at night that happen to be white with two you with two white. cats. Yeah, majority time white with two cats. Just pouring their wine by themselves, watching old episodes of um, uh, Seinfeld or Frasier. Um, no, Sex in the Bang or White no, Shows. Sex in the City. No, that's like a that's like a more recent one. Sex Have you watched Frasier? Recent? You ever watched Frasier? Yeah, but Sex in the City is not recent. Come on, doggy. No, it is more recent than the two shows I named. <laughs> you look, John, don't even know. <laughs> Sex in the, what's the, have you have you watched that show before, John? Yeah, I, I heard of it. I didn't watch it. <laughs> I didn't watch it. Yo, how how did cats become that the like the universal animal for loneliness? Because they there but not there. A what? dog is like a companion because it like it needs you. A cat just be there, it just walk. But around. a cat needs you too. Not really. Yeah, really. Really. I would argue nope, a cat probably really. needs you more. There, than a dog. Wild dogs exist in like many parts of the world. There's no a wild cat is just a dead cat. It's just like <laughs> a lion, attend. a panther, a cheetah. No, 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 those are those are levels of cat. I'm not saying like a wolf. I'm saying uh, the literal dogs that are like in people's homes. There's wild versions of those that hunt in packs. So there's a wild shit zoo somewhere. Not Dangerous. not necessarily a shit zoo, but like a not wild, like the little tiny ass puppies, bro. Like a wild Rottweiler. Where are those at? In the in world, Harlem. in Harlem. <laughs> so there's, the, a, there's a, a, part of a. I don't know. I, I've never seen a wild, anyway, uh, a wild rock wild. But no, but I, I did. Think, I, think, I noticed I though. Cats. I, I was watching. I heard that. about the dingo. Like a, they say that's a wild dog. It's a dingo, but it's kind of like a. Wolf no, dog. There, there's. It's literally just called a wild dog. The breed. Yeah. I don't know. The guy with the deep voice on Netflix told me all about them. Yeah, yeah I know about the. Yeah. They call it dingo. Okay, it's maybe. in Australia. Okay. The one I seen was in Africa, but they might be in plenty of places. Yeah, probably too. Yeah. But anyway, um, but cats are so adorable. You know what I you know what sucks about cats? My brother used to have a cat. I lived with him for a few months, and I've never been more depressed than when I was around this cat. Now this cat had like a fucked up ankle, so like he was <laughs> hobbling. Um not a cat with a fucked up ankle. So he would hobble and and he just didn't do nothing all day. He just slept. And it adds to depression. Yeah, it made me sadder because he looked so sad all the time. Yeah. It made me so sad to be around him. Because a cat's already plus 10 depression, plus a wounded cat, <laughs> oh, plus man. 30. And then if the cat has any other disability, like it's blind or any health conditions, it kind of... And you have multiple. So you got two healthy cats, six wounded cats, one cat. <laughs> Maybe got a couple of days left. You know what the vibes is in yeah, that house. Yeah, you can't train cats the way you can train dogs for the most part. You can't train a not cat. Not only that, they, they're just you not could, you as... train some cats. They're just not as companion. They don't... They don't I don't feel you like a companion. An underrated pet? Because dogs, dogs can dead be like fantastic pets. A rat. They're underrated. You're a demon. <laughs> no, not a rat, John. A rat is crazy, John. No, I was going to say a bird. 
Now they got these African greys, right? I'm not doing a bird. These African greys. I'm, I'm not doing These a African grey parents live for sixty years and can learn to talk and follow I, instructions. I don't want to. I don't want a pet for sixty years. Cockatiels is a specific yeah. type of parrot that likes. You're the affection. type of guy to get a bird. It'll fly around and eat up all your cables, and you'll get mad at it. No, no, no. that's that's what like dogs do. A bird is not eating your cables. You gonna train it not to? No, no, but they take a while to train them. But can you imagine you train? Yeah, they gonna just think your cables are worms. They're gonna just keep pecking at them. And every time you buy a new HDMI, or you got a video to do, <laughs> or if and this shit gonna start flickering, <laughs> you go like, ah, oh, Toby, like, yeah, like yeah, God yeah, damn, Toby, yeah. you know, you know, becked out my lenses. <laughs> that would be crazy. That's a sixth Ethernet cable this month. <laughs> While I'm yeah. live, nah, but um, and it's hot back that nigga immediately. Sorry, agent. Sorry, agent. Nah, but not oh, not like not like those parrots. The ones people think of when you say parrots is there's macaws. Those oh, are like man. big and loud. You uh, should have a you should have a cup like ten parrots in the A and P house and just have them pick up different sayings. Have one parrot in Duke's room and bring it out. Boy, no way. Boy, no way. Boy, no way. Things of that nature. Ka- Kai's, that nature. Ka- Kai's, um, word, 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 word. <laughs> that'd be, oh, be mad at Nord. That's actually <laughs> word. Word. just thinking indeed, about that indeed, shit. Indeed. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd snuff that parrot. No, the, the, uh, the parrot be like, Gah! 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 <laughs> yeah. Every time Davis come by, get <laughs> got in here, got in here, got, got in here. Uh, <laughs> it is a funny show. Um, uh, it's not funny. It's, it's a show on Netflix. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Which one Phantom? shoots? Oh, you got a pair to just sing the, Hispanic music. Phantom casually just grrr, in, in the, like, the middle of the house is wild. He don't do that, but that'd be funny. I uh, we we should have led with um, R. P. To Virgil. Yeah. Oh, that caught me off guard. That did. Well, I not because well, I knew he. Um, I didn't know he had cancer. Oh, you didn't know that? No, I didn't. No, no one knew that. It was private. Well, maybe if you if you were his cousin, you probably knew that. Maybe. I could have I could have sworn it that that he was kind of not cancer, but something was. No, I didn't know. Oh, okay, I mean, I, every article I read said he tried keeping it private. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't even know. I was on like a social media detox, so I was a little for years. Can you nah. explain? Can you explain to us who Virgil is? Virgil. Yeah. He's like uh, designer of off white, and now he. Hold on, beep, beep, beep. Can you close the door? He Thank you. he was like the first African uh, American director of some shit with Louis Vuitton. So yeah. he gained a lot of street cred there. I believe he he gained a notoriety through his relationship and potentially beef with Kanye West. He developed uh, Off White. So he I don't know. Yeah, it was it's another brand before. What's the other brand before that? Was that Pyrex? What he was with? Mm. I think he did Pyrex too. Is that, I was asking you specifically because I would assume you would know yeah, more about him. Than I think he did Pyrex. That was like a famous brand. He said Walkie wore it. Um, and then he went off white and then he became exclusive designer of uh Louis Vuitton. Uh that's all I know him from for the shoes and the clothes. I learned about him uh when him and Louis uh Lupe collabed on that like mixtape that Lupe made, the one called House, I believe. Mm-hmm. And Virgil was featured on one of the tracks. Uh and there was a speech that he had in it. So I was like, wow, Lupe's like, who's this Virgil guy? So then I was like, oh, this is the guy that makes the clothes Davis wears. So then I started Googling him and shit. I knew about Virgil because he he I I didn't know he was dealing with Kanye for as long as he was, because when I read up on it, it was like he was him and Kanye had affiliation since like late two thousands, early two thousand tens. So I didn't I didn't know it was dating that far back ago. But yeah, I, I got um, hip to Virgil in probably the past five or six years, based off his his affiliation with Kanye and Off White. Um, even though I'm not too familiar, it is sad to see that um, you know a young young up and coming brother, unfortunately, life ended uh, too short, very successful, and and whatever influence he had um, to the space, I'm happy he was able to you know bring in and shed light to it, man. Yeah, um, sad though. It's very sad. Um. Yeah, man. Hopefully he rests peacefully. Oh, hopefully he does. Um, you know, um, off white shit has been skyrocketing on StockX now. Yeah. You know, how I know that. Yeah. I was just looking for slides right on StockX. Too and late. Well, it, you're a millionaire. <laughs> okay. Anyway, you this, are though. The, you're same, the same slides I was you looking at for 140. They were, they they say off white on them. I was like, they look good, but I don't know if they're comfortable. They don't look comfortable. Today they're 250. You're buying prime. one buying slides for one forty even contemplating. That's why I didn't do crazy. it though. I didn't do it. 
But wait, I wouldn't wait, even be looking at those. 140 is not bad, but the fact that it goes up $100. Nigga, yeah. what are we talking about right now? What are we talking about right now? Slides. Kanye slides right now. I know, like but I know, but Mickey, y'all, just, y'all saying slides are not, it's not that much for slides to be 140. What are we talking about? They're off-white slides. That's like. I bought um I bought the fives, the the black off-white fives. And you did? like months ago, and StockX still hasn't given them to me for a band. And I haven't checked, but I imagine this shit is up now. I just it just looked good. I went to you know remember that um that store I went to with Snipe? <laughs> hey, so is, mad. That nigga's pissed. Because he doesn't know. <laughs> he don't know nothing. He's like, they just look good. This he nigga said, this nigga, he's he said, like ah. <laughs> Six million. All right, let's go to StockX. They just look good real quick. Nah, I went to Snipe. Let's Snipe was the trended. one who convinced me, though. So I went to that sneaker store with Snipe, uh, Acostic, I believe, um, and he had the shoe there, and it was one of the only shoes in the glass box. I'm like, yo, that shoe in the glass box is the best fucking shoe here. What's that shoe, dog? And, he, and so the, the owner of the store, his dad was there. I think his dad was actually the owner. And his dad was yeah. like, yo, before I answer that, like, why do you think that's the best shoe? And I was like, I don't know. It just looks clean. It looks clean as fuck. He's it's like, that's clean. so interesting, man. Because he's like, out of all the shoes here, this I own this one too. Uh, he, was, he basically told me the history of it. And he's like, that's also one of the most expensive ones here. But he, they had like some Cactus Jack, Travis Scott stuff that was more expensive there. But for the most part, like it was in a glass box. Probably the one Lowe's, the new ones that came out. Potentially. What are those Air Forces that like change color when you put them outside? Uh, they change color when you put them outside? That could be anything. It could be a custom or a regular. Some of them have like weather changing stuff where you can like put cold or hot water and it change the color of the paint. No, it just when you walk out, when you go outside and the sun hits it and it'll like change colors. Somebody just, I saw somebody on TikTok just recently bu- purchased it at the um, new Nike store over in. Um, Today these are new shoes? Yeah, these are new shoes, yeah. No, I, yeah, I probably haven't seen them. The Air, the Air Forces? Yeah, they're Forces, yeah. Low uh, top. I don't, really, I don't play too much in, in Forces, really. Unless they're white. But it's some Forces I fuck with, like off-white Forces. But I don't really... It's a lot of Forces come out a lot. Yeah. But I'll check it out, though. What is, what is what's the place called? Um, downtown in Atlanta, Ponce. Yeah, Ponce they, a new, yeah, they just put a new Nike over there. They also a new, put a new what? Nike... They put a new Nike over there. A Nike like factory store? Yeah, like in, in the line is outrageous every single day. Uh, he's talking oh, about a retail never store. Never mind. Wait, what are you talking about? He said factory, and you said yeah. No, oh, like I don't a know. Factor, like a factory store, like a, just a Nike store. Like at Lennox? Like a retail. That's what I'm saying. Like yes. a store, like Lennox. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. When I say factory, factory, I'm like like an outlet store. Or it's like a Yeah, no, store. not a not an actual factory. No, no, no. no. They but sell it. There's a difference between a factory, an outlet, and a retail store. No, they just call it like the Nike factory. Like, you know, the outlet. Oh, that's like what they a, call it? Like the Nike factory. But it's like just only Nike. That's yeah, it's I mean. only Nike. It's yeah. only Nike. Hold on. Nike calls their outlets Nike factory? Yeah. Like the Nike factory outlet. Word? Oh, I never knew that. Okay. Interesting. But everybody just call it Nike. It's Nike anyway. Yeah, but the difference yeah. is when you go to a retail store, there's retail things. When you go to the outlet, there's the stuff from like previous seasons on discount. And then a factory, that's where they make them. Yeah, so Nike like, Nike by Pond City Market. Yeah, so it's like Linux. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Interesting. They also created. They also dropped a, a new store um, in a mall in Toronto because I saw uh, some content creators for y'all entertainment were doing some promo for them. So I guess Nike's just uh, on a retail binge. They are. They are, bro. So Nike, if you're looking for people to promo that Atlanta store, <laughs> actually, if y'all, if, yeah, facts. Off White's <laughs> about to be so expensive right now. Yeah, I'm actually kind of... Let me Google how much um, the fives are. You want to go there, John? Go where? Nike and Ponce. Yeah, I'm down. I need some I need some new stuff anyway. But probably later. I'm going to start my sneaker collection next year. I haven't bought shoes in months. Oh, uh, a week ago. A week, week and a half ago is when they open. Oh, they're not open yet? No, it's when they they just opened like a week, week and a half ago. Oh, so... This is, this is like new, new. This is like very, oh, very new. I, I didn't even know. Yep. Yep. It's very, very new. Um... I want. I ain't gonna. Lie. Are we gonna sp- really go low? Or you just I wanna, say? I want to spend. I want to spend a couple money on. Spend a couple thousand on uh, some shoes. Bro, I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear. <laughs> you be chatting. Get her up. You be inviting me places and never. We never they're go. Up. They're up three hundred dollars. I bought them for like nine fifty. They're thirteen hundred now. I remember you Jesus. saying it was going to strip club. Never went. We can still do those things, John. You believe it? You'll tell me to go to Nike. Probably never going to do it. I actually did ask. <laughs> I did ask one of you know, so you know, we can, you can make a video out of it. We can like, you know, you can like. Update your make, closet. Yeah, update my closet, man. What you think about that, John? 
So I could burn your jean shorts? No, you, you see I got Damn You see I got something on my body right now Having bro, a pocket know? right here is nuts <laughs> Hey, what's the point? What would you put in that pocket? Is that even a pocket? I, don't I better not see your leg I don't think it's a pocket I better not see your leg Nope, not a pocket. Just it's a just zipper. a fake zipper. Just a zipper. Because they're like, yeah, that zipper's going to add some style close to your calves. <laughs> yep. Just a zip, dog. Yep. Just a zip. Yeah. Man, we can go. If you want to make that video, too, like, John, you updated my closet. Yeah, whoever made them jeans is depressed. And I'll, and I'll wear the nastiest fit with my uh, kamikazes. To where? To the Nike store, bro. Oh, and then you're going to take all that off and put some new on. Yeah, that's what you want me to do, dog. We can have a montage. You so like, a, like, a, like a closing montage where they go Wait, in. Do you think you could be agent in basketball? No, I hope not. Oh, you can't. Oh, he you plays can't. more. You play more than me. I guess. It, have you played in the last six months? Like twice. I played three times. Look at me, man. I played more oh. than him. I just want to see y'all play one-on-one. And if agent beat you. I could burn your a pair of your jean shorts. Just burn them right away. I'm gonna say, wait, what? Wait, why? Why want... do you get to burn my jeans? Because that nigga beat me. That makes no sense. Because if I play you, it's not fair. Unless we go, okay, you go to six and I go to a hundred, <laughs> and it'll be fair. John, you literally had to be in need of a lot of cardio to ever play a basketball game until a hundred. But the nigga just nah. tried me. You say you just said that I can six. score a hundred before you score six. He's right. There. I could. No, he could not. He I could. could. Okay. He can score six points. No, he can I mean, score he scored 100 points and before I score six. Yep. I'm not going to lie. He, you might score like two. I'm being dead. No. Ass. If you get the ball back. <laughs> we play make it take it. It's going to be a bad day for you. No. Yeah. No. I'm just going to shoot threes all the time. Okay. So what? And you're not going to make nothing. Stop, John. You may never touch the ball that much. It's going to feel bad for you. The only you, time believe, you, wait, you believe you can score 100 points before I score six? Yeah. John, stop. I agree with you, John. He's you know, seen me play too. now, so his whole perception is off. No, I've always known you were nice. You just mm. keep trying to compare yourself to NBA players. <laughs> You're not that guy, bro. I'm, I'm, but this I'm, is low. <laughs> you can you can one hundred to five. A hundred, a hundred before he scores six is, is crazy. No matter who it is. Yeah, facts. So don't don't think because it's you. You know what I'm saying. So what if I'm <laughs> able to score six before you score a hundred? Huh? What if I'm able to score six before you score a hundred? What do I do? What do I get? You burn his whole closet. His whole closet? That's crazy. Nah. Look, at this burn, nigga, look at this thing inputting. You can burn my shoes. Which ones? You can burn the ones I'm hooping in. I'll ride off my feet. I'll take them off. You go outside nah, and burn them. Nah. I, I get to pick. No, I get to pick which shoes. I didn't say your favorite jeans. I just said a pair of them. But you're going to pick the favorite ones, nigga. Come no, on. No, you can pick the jeans shorts. I just want to see your face as they burn. How about we do that? Will you pick my favorite jeans shorts and your favorite shoes? Okay. That's cool. I only got three shoes. That's wild. Because I sold all my shoes. So I don't got no I don't, I don't got no attachment to materialistic. I ain't sell out my jean shorts. You know what video inspired that? me recently? What? You um, didn't show me the video before we started. The oh, podcast. yeah. I'm glad. So you, you want to do that? It. We can. If you want to do that. So y'all not going Y'all just saying things. That's I'm a like, very just, long video. I need y'all to know you guys are just saying things. How you long will not bring him to the gym. It's not going to happen. You're Six, not going nowhere. Uh, for me to, t- to score 100 points on you, it will take me probably, yeah, probably like, probably like, 15, 20 No, that's going to be like cold. a two-hour game. Hold on. If yeah, I'm, that's a long game. What I'm, are we talking about? If I'm cold, 15 minutes. 15, 20 minutes. If I'm hot. So, John, you can score four points a minute? Huh? No. no. You would have to score like eight points a minute. Yes. Eight points a minute? What are you playing? No. 20s and 10s, brother? <laughs> we do um, we do two. It's playing by 10s. It's crazy. <laughs> Are you going to do twos and threes or ones and twos? Definitely have to go twos and threes. <laughs> so I do like, I hit three, John, threes, yo, nine, Yeah, you really be chatting. Nine. Yeah, you eight, had to score, you had to score seven points per minute. Yeah, stop. For 15 minutes, you had to score seven points per minute. Yeah, I'm not doing it. You're just talking right now, John. Do you want to do it? We, we should do that. We can do it, but you're not you're not beating me in 15 minutes. Nah, nah, it'd be longer. I'd yeah, be, it'd be way me. longer. Yo, you guys are not. Neither of you will go to the gym to do this. I'm just letting y'all know. We're just seven for seven points per minute. <laughs> he's not gonna do that. He's not. He's not a common. Oh, 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 oh. That's like how long do you think it'll take me to get 100 points on low? Like 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Can you forget how big he is, dog? You're not gonna do that shit shooting. You're gonna have to drive a lot. But he just no. sags, so your shot has to be money. If your shot's not money, all you got to do is make two threes, and he's money. Like he, he's, he's, he's won. 
So he's not. Gonna, but so you're gonna. If he gotta touch the ball. That's the point. That's the point I'm trying to make. But he's gonna touch the ball if you keep shooting because you're not gonna shoot 100. percent So for you to get to 100, you're gonna have to drive a lot. But again, he's bigger than you. So you're not just gonna have like an easy <laughs> lane. Like he's like, no. See, really, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bop him. <laughs> I'm gonna bop him. Bop, bop, bop up, and then you're gonna probably once I get around 30 mark when it's when it's 30 to zero, you're gonna kind of get like, dang, he gonna start missing. You, I may let you score when I get to 80. 81 for Kobe. I'll give you one. Get one basket for Kobe, and then after that, it's over with. Are we playing by twos? Huh? One twos. And twos. One no, and no, no. twos? No, no, no. no. Yeah. <laughs> Twos and threes, brother. Two threes. You trying to make this game take centuries? <laughs> oh. You think you think because you make a long twos, you would score a hundred points, bro? You because you saying it. baba up is like around the free throw line. No, no, no I'll shoot anywhere. It don't matter. I just I can shoot twos all day. Okay. <laughs> All right. Are we done on this fake convo? That's never gonna happen. So I we didn't get- that. Let's go to the Nike store. No cap. Okay, he'll right. do that. He's not going to the gym with you to to, to have you drop a hundred points on him. He's not gonna do it because that's not happening. It makes not drop. No, he off. will do it. It just I he's it. not gonna show up to let it happen. No, you be dog shit tired by the time you get to fifty. You be, you be surprised. I, I won't be. You been practicing and shit. I, I'm down twenty five pounds. Word, congratulations, John. Damn. Yeah. Wow. Congratulations. You know what? Um, in the name of congratulations, you know uh, Graham Stephan. He been yes. he been dropping. Is his uh, financial YouTuber named Graham Stephan. He been dropping videos every year, updating us on his. Investment portfolio And each year I like get blown away From how much it's grown So it'll be like My two million dollar Stock portfolio This was three years ago Right The next year It's like My six million dollar Stock portfolio I'm like god damn Man he tripled his shit In in a year Bro he dropped a video My 20 million dollar Investment portfolio I was like damn What what do people invest in When they have 20 million dollars I was so curious So But it grew to 20 Like he didn't Throw all 20 million in one No, 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 no. He didn't have 20 in cash. Yeah, so no, it no. just grew. So a lot of it grew off of real estate. He owns like, I think it was six properties and they're in LA. So again, these all go for a lot. Yeah. Uh, he said he has like 8% of his uh, stuff in crypto. He was just running through the gambit. He said he was angel investing in some businesses. He owns a coffee business now. The last thing I heard out of him was he bought a house. And he hated it because like he's like it was the worst purchase he's made. And he would like how much money he kept throwing into the like he was saying like all Aaron I gotta Stephens do is that? yeah it was it was a house that he purchased like all I gotta do is da 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 da. And the next update you go in there the fucking walls are just off. You can just Where, see which, straight. Was this the Vegas crib? It's not the Vegas crib. <clears throat> no, no, it was it was in LA. Okay, interesting. And he had, he I, know, had I didn't see that. He had she had to straight strip everything like to the studs. He's like I had to just. Do everything. He's like I'm already throwing in more money than I thought I was gonna have to in this house and stuff yeah. like that. And that was like, that was probably my first time interested in like house buying. And then Graham Stephan was like, yeah, man, you get houses like these. And he was like, man, that's tough. Then I started binge watching a bunch of niggas who had like houses and how they rented out to people and how to rent, rent, rentees, just tear up niggas' houses. Bro, yo. That shit I, is crazy. Dog, the tenants. The tenants. They, they, the tenants make it so hard for people like me to rent because they do such a fucking awful job. And I'm just now experiencing it now that I have rentals. Bro, people don't care about your shit at all. Not at like, all. Like, they'll live in it, but they will not care about it at all, bro. There will be a hole in the wall for months. And then there'll be like uh, like this. There'll be a leak, and then nothing will be done to make sure that it doesn't get moldy. Like, just it's just bad, dog. I wonder why tenants don't say anything to the owners. Like, just tell them, like, there's a leak going yeah, on. Yeah, like, I, why not I used to do anything? that. Uh, but then I just realized that, like. You're making it worse. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just fix it myself now. I don't even bother. Oh well, you you can fix it yourself. But like, if you were, if you're a tenant, like, just say even something. yeah, just say something. Even if you think you're the landlord's might going to be mad at you, it's going to be worse if you let it sit for like three or four months, and then while, when you're about to leave the house, you're like, all right, man, and then it just Bro. randomly finds out there's a leak in his yeah. fucking bathroom. I know someone that rented a house, and I knew he was going to destroy this house. I knew it. By the time he left this house. Most of the carpet was done for because he had a pet. Um, the I tiles. The you I was about, about to say, we already knew what you were talking the about. The tiles bro. was done for. There was holes in walls. There's a hole in the door. The front door was also busted, was so they had to the replace door. the front door. Like that house had so it had over ten thousand in damages. It was awful. Um, and and it's like what's crazy is niggas like that make it they dead make, make it, it harder, harder for, for me us. though. Yeah. It's like man. Well, not- I'm happy now that we have um, 
references, so I like it like that. Yeah. Yeah. We have references now. Yeah, it and sucks for people who's cool. young, can afford to live somewhere, but then now nobody trusts you because, like, somebody else that looks like you fucked up the crib. It's almost as if, like, they want you to go, like, live in the slums first. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> go live in the ghetto first, and let me let me see how you deal with that before you come live over here. Because, God damn. Yeah. Were you were you ever, um you ever think we would have to um rent out two different homes? Me? Yeah. What do you mean? When we first moved here, we couldn't find anything. Did you ever think we had to rent out two different houses, like in the same neighborhood? No, nah. you never. Because that that ran. I would have just kept mind. trying, but uh, like it's, eventually, if you just keep trying, it'll come. But it it just sucks that you have to shoot so many shots, um, because the trust is just not there. And if you are a landlord, I I get it to a certain extent, but I hate that the idea of judging people based off of not data, just feelings. I have the worst mic. What? You can keep going. Hopefully, this uh, the, the mic works out. Well, yo, John, you can hear low, right? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Because the the first port is the one that keeps fucking up, but it is what it oh, is. Oh, do you think it's the mixer? You know, you know, landlords love it more when you have women renting with you. Like if you're a couple, because they know that females, for the most part, are just gonna be cleaner. They're gonna take care of the crib better. That's why we had to act like we were gay. Yeah, we did. Did you know that? To get this house, <laughs> we just act like we were a couple. Not you this said. house, no, another house. Oh, another house? Yeah, this house, we, we were straight for this house. <laughs> There's a couple other houses we had, like, we were gay. <laughs> and nigga still didn't give it to us. I was like, damn, I'm a gay nigga. Come on, dog. I Y'all acted gay <laughs> to get a house. So. I dead ass was picking up phones, like, uh, hey, uh, stop, I just want to stop, stop, stop. You're like, so where, where's your, where's your boyfriend? It's like, uh, he's, he's in, like, he's in Toronto right now and he'll be back, but I just want to just so you go the around. A, I had to, yeah. <laughs> your cheeks beat. I, I had to make sure it came across like I was gay. That you was a gay, yes. You don't have to be, you, you could talk normal and be gay. I know, but it had to be clear. I can't just be like, I like men. How that's, is that? How is that going to come up in conversation? Huh? That's how, a good point. How is it going to come well, up in conversation? When you say boyfriend, like I'm going to be there with my boyfriend, they're going to be like, oh, I could be mad masculine, but well, I, ha- I yeah. had to make sure that I came across like I you was know, a feminine funny, one. You're though. Fake selling it when, when, no, no, no. I, when it's low, when it's low, John's like you could just said you could just said uh, you was gay, but when it's Lil Nas X, you need video evidence <laughs> to, for him to prove. I mean, you. if you come up to me and you trying to buy a house, and y'all come up to me together, and y'all say y'all gay, I'm gonna look at y'all like this. I'm gonna go, okay, y'all wanna buy that? You wanna buy the house? I mean, but right. but it wasn't, right. but it wasn't coming up. We so had to, we gays, were, we were calling. Gays clean better than straights. I didn't. We didn't no, know what couples, it was. Just couples. We were just trying shit, bro. We were just trying shit, bro. We oh. tried paying the whole year up front. We tried paying like three months security deposit, and I had to act like I was gay. So you said, I had to. I had no other choice. I had to act like I was gay. He had, you to, had to. I had to. You had to. Had no other choice. No other choice. I was ran out of options. Out of options. So I had to act like I was in a couple, and the reason why I put on the feminine voice is I had to act like I was like the feminine one to make it seem like, oh yeah, like just so you know, he didn't do that. He's just I, talking. You just talk regular, dog. I'm being so serious. I did not. I'm not even joking. I am not joking. I dead ass talk. Like it's a landlord right there that, ass. that think y'all gay. Yep. There's <laughs> actually a couple of them. <laughs> not just one. You put on a voice? Yeah, I did. Why? Because I didn't want him to believe like I was a masculine one. He was like, oh, I need some feminine like to believe that you're going to be clean. Y'all both can't be masculine gays? Has he seen but you? If, that, if that's the case, if that's the case. Hold on. He's, did he see you? No, he's over the phone. But he was going to see you eventually. I guess. He's not thinking you're feminine, dog. I would have I just, <laughs> I would have thrown a pink shirt and like some white pants. You don't own neither. I do own a pink shirt. What are you doing? You own a pink shirt and white shorts. I, wa- I wore the pink shirt. The pink shirt. I mean, I wore pink, one of the pink shirts. And to, that's um, it right there. Once you wear those two combos, you're feminine. Right there. Pink. A pink shirt and white, white pants. pants. You're gay. And me talking with a lisp. Oh, bro. So what did you say? How you doing today, uh, Marcel? Marcel. How you doing? Uh, I'm just calling because me and my boyfriend we're trying to uh, we're trying to move in. We like your house. It's so lovely, 
and I just I just love it so so much. And unfortunately, my boyfriend he, he lives in Toronto, so he's not going to be able to be there. But I can meet you in like that's how I just talk. You sound like a girl. That's the point. What the fuck? That's the point. But you sound like a like a girl. Like you don't even sound like a boy. That's the point, nigga. Like, no, you, why do you have that that voice? What so if like down-packed? what if those houses would have said yes if you were just Marcel? Well, they weren't. Some of these we doubled back. Some of them I doubled back to as a gay man. So you were straight first. I was straight first, and they declined us. And I was like, man, let me see if I can act gay. You know, I get it. Maybe it was your black. Eventually, we learned it. That. You should act. You should act. <laughs> I you couldn't, and I couldn't act white. You went from straight to gay. And I can't act white. So I, can't, I can't be white. Because inevitably, as soon as he saw me, he's like, oh, you're a nigga. Come you don't on, have bro. to. You could just like, like the, show some like lighting on your ID in a way where it's not clear. Well, your skin tone. But when I got there, oh, he would have been like, oh, you're black. Yeah, you could have just said, I have my agent go on my behalf. Could have. Yeah. But he would have seen my ID. <laughs> Come on, bro. Yeah. We would have just had just, lighting to wait. All you got to do is turn your ID enough so that the lights kind of like sl- splash off of it so it's not clear what your skin tone is. What if you were like, no, nah, I need a, I need a bit more with clear ID. Can you <laughs> give you a 4K me camera for yeah, me? <laughs> you send another picture with that ID. <laughs> Let's see that this skin Excuse tone. Me, I can't really, I really can't really confirm with the light of the picture. Are you black? <laughs> <laughs> yes or no? I'm not Actually, sure. I dead ass wanted to like find like a, like an old white friend of mine who I used to work with. Be like, yo, can you uh can you do a couple house hunting trips with me real quick? Because need some white people around me for this. Oh yeah, one. so I don't think I I think I meant to tell the story. If I didn't, let me tell it, and you could tell me if I told you the story on this podcast. But it was a crib. By the A&P crib um, That had an open house So I wanted to do my real estate agent shit So I put on my suit And I walked over to this crib And uh, it's an open house So the way open houses work is You walk in the, the lady or man The real estate agent that represents the seller Greets you And then you just walk around You could ask questions about the property She'll answer them for you But you're usually around Other families or other people looking to purchase Yep. Now when it was when it's a lower tier house, like if it's a cheaper home, like one hundred fifty thousand, there's gonna be way more people there. But this house I was at was going for one point five million. Now I wasn't gonna buy this crib. I was just curious, and it was down the street, right? So mm-hmm. I pull up to this open house, and it's just me. I'm I'm the only one there. Why, when I pull up, she starts asking me all these questions. And keep in mind, I've been to open houses at uh, country clubs before. But I've never in my life been like interrogated the way she was interrogating me. This is Asian lady. She's like, "What's your name?" I was like, oh, that's a, that's a generic question. I gave her my name. And she's like, oh, what are you doing here? Now, keep in mind, she could see Waleed with the camera and everything, too. Right? I'm mic'd up and everything. She could see Waleed with the camera, and Davis was with me as well. So um, I was like, I gave her my information, and she's like, oh, okay. You're, and she looks around unsure of, like, why I'm here. Because I, I don't fit the profile of the person who would usually buy that house. Mm-hmm. And she's like, are you in the market for a home? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I own a couple properties in the city. And she's like, oh, yeah, who's, who's your real estate agent? I'm like, Ben. Ben's my real estate agent. Like, ben who? I'm like, I don't. Fuck. I don't know. I don't know what his last name is. You, you mean you want his telephone number and social security? Like, at, at this point, I'm like, so I stopped. I was like, well, what's the purpose of all these questions? Can I take a look at the home? And she goes, yeah, 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 yeah of course. And then she's like, but can you answer these two questions? So she asked me two more questions, and I start walking around. So then, because I've viewed so many homes in the past few years, I just know that that experience wasn't normal. So um, I, I look around the home and now I'm upstairs. We walk upstairs and keep on, we're shooting a video basically. So when I get upstairs, I hear someone else walks in the crib. So it's a, it's a couple, it's a white man and a white woman, but they're in like their late thirties though. So they fit the profile. In fact, they're a little young for the area that I was in because it's, it's usually older, older people. But she greets them. She goes, oh, this is a historical home. Oh, uh, what's your names? This and this. Okay, well, if you have any questions, let me know. So then I was like, hold on now. Is this an anomaly? Why does she interrogate me? But she, she only asked a couple questions out of these folks right here. And she did the same thing for the next couple people. So then I drove off. But then, um, so I undressed and everything. But then I, 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 I sat for a moment and I was like, fuck the video. I was just highly upset that she was putting up like unnecessary roadblocks in my way. She didn't believe I even owned property, which is like, 
I guess who the fuck cares whether or not I own property, but just the fact that she thought it was without like outside of my realm. She, she thought everything I told her was cap about like what I do or the income that I have. And I was so frustrated because it was the first time since I left Toronto that I felt like something was done and it was a roadblock that was created out of her own like biases. And she was, she was an Asian woman. She should understand what it, it must be like to be profiled. Cause I imagine at some point in her life, she was profiled. Uh, they don't, they don't care. That's the same thing happened to me once in a while when I was looking at a house for us. And I actually, I think I sent over video footage to you about the house. And I think at this time, I don't think, I think Davis was no longer involved because it was getting closer to where we live right now. Actually, it's in between where we live and the EMP house. It's kind of in that, actually, I take that back, it's not. But it's it's close to where we are right now. And it was an Asian Asian woman as well. Ironically, the house that um that wanted us to put the money up front was also an Asian woman, but the it was an Asian woman at a, um at a uh, uh, at a uh, open house. Got there, pressed about the um putting the um stuff on my shoes. I was like, all right, cool, I understand. Um, actually, I wanted to take off my shoes and just put them on. She's like, no, no, you can keep them on. So that I did did that, and um, I started walking around. And when I got there, it was some other couple that was there, but. It was just the couple and me. So I got there. They had already started walking. And I was like, man, this is a nice house. It was so nice. I started to record the house so I can show you the house. So I'm getting there recording it. The uh, master was on the main living room, dining room, nice size kitchen. Not as big as what we have right now, but nice size kitchen. And as I'm walking around um, and right before I go upstairs, the uh, she started asking me about like, oh, like, what do you do? Like, what's your name? What do you do? You know, or what are you in the house? What are you looking for? Like, all, all that stuff. Mind you, at the time, I was driving the um the beat-up Highlander. So I just look crazy, right? I am driving a beat-up Highlander, and I just came in, whatever. I fucking decided to come in that day. And so I'm sitting here, and I'm just answering questions, believing, like, oh, this is, I guess she's just starting conversation. So then as I'm now upstairs still recording, Downstairs, the couple that was there before me, they're leaving. And she said, Oh, did you? She's asked, Oh, did you like it? And they responded. And, they, and she gave them the information about the, um, like the little brochure about the house. And they walked out. So then I'm, I'm going through the house and I go upstairs. I'm like, Man, I guess it's nice. And she's like, um, Now she's just ignoring me. She's like, I was like, Yeah, this is nice. This is nice. I'm assuming she's just talkative and she's like, Not even listening to me no more. So now I go downstairs and I was like, Oh, this is huge. Like, this is great. So I was actually ecstatic about it. And I was like, Yeah, like, oh, this is fucking amazing. So then as I go upstairs, now I have to initiate conversation with her, like, Hey, like, oh, I like it. This is the, the price is this. And she's like, Yep. And then she kind of just dropped the conversation. And I was like, Okay. And I kept wandering around acting like, I'm like, okay, so are you going to ask me about the brochure or not? So then I was like, oh, so this is the brochure? She's like, yep, yep, that's it. So now I pick up the brochure and I start reading it. And then I, I was like, um, then I start asking her about information about like the area because I am i wasn't familiar with the area until I got over here. So I asked her and she was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she's like, but I thought you said you, because she asked me like, where, where was I from? And I was like, and then she's like, I, I thought you said you, you always been in Atlanta. And I was like, yeah, but I more on the south side of town, like in that area. And then she's like, "Oh, okay, okay. What what side of this? What part of the south side of town?" And before I could even answer, she was like, "Like Riverdale or Jonesboro?" And I was like, "No, like Fed County." And then she was like, "Oh, that's a nice area. Wow, wow, okay." And I was like, "Jesus Christ, she's about to act like it's a fucking an accomplishment to live in Fed County." So then, as I'm as I'm walking out. She still hasn't even like asked me like, am I interested in anything like that? I was like, man, you just, you clearly just don't give a fuck. So then I just leave and then I try to call them and I was on another house that inevitably just dubbed us. So, yeah. Yeah. That's, it's so disappointing because all the questions that a real estate agent should be asking you when you're buying a home should have to do with closing a sale. So like, Questions related to like, what are you looking for in a home? Like, et cetera, et cetera. Those are all good questions, but you asking where you grew up, that's not a, that that's only a qualifying question to her because she'll use that information to build her own profile of who she thinks you are. 
which is such a dumb way to go about things. That that shit is so frustrating to me. It's like I could buy your house in cash. Which is I'm just other, here for a bit. Yeah, which is which Get is off my dick. Which is also interesting because it's like, and the same thing we always say about like how this whole situation we're in the house right now, where we were viewed as like irresponsible or non-reliable like tenants because of it's our bad. age and situation. And come to find out we were probably the most reliable tenants that you could possibly ask for because of the whole pandemic and everything happened. And we were still paying rent on time and doing everything else. So it was like, it's, it's so Bro, ironic how like I, so many people missed out on I went quality back, tenants. I went back to that house cause I was so frustrated and I just, I zoomed the fucking on my camera on her face. I was like, how come you asked me all them questions, but you didn't ask any, any other individual that question that walked in? I was listening. She's like, I didn't ask everyone the same question. I said, no, you didn't. I was listening. So how come you asked me all the questions? So she started like trying to lie about the circumstances. But I was like, it's literally on video. And then the second I said that, she was like, oh, you can't record me. You can't record me. And, and I was like, she, she looked like visibly in fear. Um, so like, but I was a, a, like, she was as far back away from me as John is. And part of me wanted to walk up to her because I was lapeled up, right? So the audio wasn't going to pick up that well if I'm far away from her. But again, she looked like she was in fear. Anyway, she called the owner of the home after I left and they literally had like a meeting in, in the, by the front door. I could see them talking amongst themselves. Keep in mind, I live like down the street from these people. So they will 100% see me. They definitely saw my new truck. Mm. <laughs> but it was just like that's such a dumb roadblock to put in the way of people that it, why why not just such horrible salespeople and that's why like i love good salespeople like ben who's my real estate agent he he didn't even there was no like doubt in his mind i told him this is what i'm looking for he said all right bet and we just kept looking until we found that but it's like i hate i hate i hate those roadblocks dog that's that's kind of what drove me out of toronto Nobody would let me rent. Nobody. Nobody. They all thought I was a risk. Nobody would let me rent. I eventually lied and said my parents are going to be living with me, but I'm going to be paying for it. And the landlord let me in. Which is crazy because, you know, on, on the south side of town, right before I would call it, the dude was willing to let me rent with like no prior rent, rental experience at all. Like I've been just got home living from my mom's house. But, but it depends was, on the home. Let me say that. In Atlanta, it's just cheaper. So, like, if like if you wanted to rent a, a 1400 a it month around home, price, yeah. the, the standards is not going to be as high. But the base in Toronto for a single family was, like, 2800 Oh, that's crazy. So, so they just have higher standards. Uh, but, again, these were homes that were listed for, like, 30 days. So, obviously, they were overpriced, and still they were shooting me down. That it was, was, was kind of crazy. We've, we've run into homes that are, like, have been on the market for, like, a very long time. Anyway, fuck those biased, racist, ageist fucks. I hope you lose your job, piece of shit. So sad, so sad, so sad. Um, what was some... No, dead ass. Hope you lose your job. Why are you putting roadblocks in the way of people that don't deserve it? Ask qualifying answers. Stop trying to get to know me to build a profile, bitch. I had mm. half a mind to fucking put her face on the internet, too. Oh, wow. I swear to God I wanted to do Why so Why are you just badly. uploading this blur of face? I don't want to. I want people to know oh, which wow. shit real estate agent did that. I don't. I, I, I wouldn't suggest doing. But that I didn't do it though because I'm a good fucking guy. Oh wow, I'm a good fucking guy, man. She's not a good woman at all. It, not even in the slightest. Not even in the slightest. Um. What else? Anyway, man. Um. There's a lot of shit I've been seeing on Twitter recently. About These Twitter what? spaces have been getting toxic, my brother. I love tw Twitter spaces. Yeah, but you know what I saw on Twitter today, John. Well, what? What there's a post I seen and it went like this. Now, have you ever seen that like peacock looking animal that like flutters his feathers? Like his feathers is huge in his back. So a peacock. It's a peacock. I, I don't know the exact animal name. In my head, it just feel like that's what a peacock is. Anyway, who sent it to me? Someone sent it to me. David sent it to me. Huh, let me, pull it, me. Let me pull it out for you. all So this animal uh, flutters its feathers uh, to attract a female mate. Right. Right. And so, um, Are you talking about the room where they said that men shouldn't dress like women or something like that. No, 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 look, I found it, I found it. So, look, look, look. So, the post says it's so crazy how so many species of male do the most to impress their female counterparts, while human men just sit there and ask us what we bring to the table. And it quote tweeted this You seen this animal before? Yeah, peacock, right here. 
So the peacock? Is, yeah, peacock. Yeah. So it's a peacock. Um, and I thought to myself, like, what is this obsession with, like, humans and comparing themselves to, like, animals when it's convenient? Um, and not for a joke. Like, she dead means this. And the post pop it has 131,000 likes. So for her, that's the biggest post she'll ever have. Uh, but then as you read through these tweets and you learn a little bit more about the animal and other people like rebutting her and making similar comparisons, they were like, but those birds are not monogamous. Do you think that your relationship, you shouldn't be monogamous neither if we're just comparing each other to peacocks? And I, I was like, oh, okay, I didn't know that. But it's like those birds don't know. The birds the bird don't be in relationships. They just fuck, they just have fuck. babies and move on. Yeah. Mm hmm. So then I thought, like, damn, you didn't even do like this. They probably fuck with their babies. Whoa. Okay, John. John what? <laughs> because when the babies get old enough, they're animals. Who knows? Okay. So you're saying they don't have no way to identify that that's their baby when they get older? Who knows? You're an animal? But like, no, nah, I don't know. I don't know. So what if, the, if, the, what if he just, they just start early? And then by the time they get to like, their 50s or 60s of animal years, their kids are like 30 or something. They just <clears throat> fucking make more. Okay, anyway. All right. Just <laughs> Jesus. Any, the, the, what the fuck <laughs> are you saying, bro? Huh? I'm sorry. I zoned out, but I caught on the end of that. I, I Don't repeat Who it. knows? No, don't repeat Who it. knows what You're right. You're right. Who knows? No, he doesn't hey, know. Hey, Caleb, have a football fly across the screen for me right now. <laughs> you're right. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? What you're, but what you're saying is, what he said is true, though. Like, it's so odd that, like, people when they're trying to make a, a like a dating argument or like a man and woman relationship argument how quickly they, they pivot to like animals and i'm like man why are you like, you should, you should you pivot to things you know like i say a lot of basketball references because i'm a basketball guy you know at my heart raptors lost today shit hurt my soul also um i guess but it's, it's, but it's like if you don't know anything about the animal why are you comparing yourself to it yeah, because yeah, they don't like there. There isn't a species of animals that are monogamous with one woman. There doesn't yeah. exist no. at all. So if we're comparing ourselves to animals, then I guess that means you just want a bunch of men to go around fucking. And also, too, <laughs> men they act like men don't and they put to on dogs, but they breed dogs. <clears throat> what are you talking about right now? Uh, I guess I get yeah, it is fair. Women, it is fair. Yeah, men, yeah, men. They breed, yeah, they breed dogs. They don't like dogs. Don't like just. Get together. They don't. Yeah, they don't have. They don't relationship. They get bread. Oh, in yeah. the heat. Nah. Okay. All right, John. Anyway, the the other the, call it when a when a girl's ready to have dog. Yeah, has that yeah. the heat. Yeah. And yeah, bro. When I I, I had birds before pigeons. They're like the they're like the generic default bird that people get. That's mad cheap. Um, and the lady at the fair told me, do not get a female and a male. Don't unless you want to have a lot more birds. Which I thought was like really interesting. I guess if you have no choice, you're just gonna fuck the thing right next to you and have babies. Um, but anyway, I guess each animal is just different. <laughs> well, we had a faithful dog, and it fucked one time and wouldn't breed no more. That just doesn't exist. Yeah, it just, it That'd just be doesn't crazy. exist. You got a dog it, and just wouldn't fuck no other girl. <laughs> but it's also which is crazy. <laughs> it just he was just like stop, like yo, Veronica, where's Veronica? At? Dog, like stop, stop, I'm not, stop, stop. I'm not making no more. I'm not making no more unless it's with Veronica. Had. It's a set up, huh? Yeah, so, uh, us, 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 Rod Wallace, we gonna cheat now. Rod Wallace, we ain't cheating. Leave that to the golden retriever. Yeah, we loyal over here, <laughs> Rod Wallace. We loyal, yeah. but even, but even still, the act is if like men don't try their hardest to, um, like they sit there and say men just sit there and do nothing, and and somehow we still get pussy is crazy. Like that's to even believe that to be true is outrageous. To even like dare say something like that is also outrageous. Y'all men, y'all just sit there and do nothing and y'all still somehow get pussy. Stop, nigga. You're just fucking full on cap. Sir Caps a lot. Niggas go out of their way to fucking try their hardest to get pussy to the point where even they cap to try to figure out a different way. So let's but, stop. Stop. Wait, so huh? someone said something interesting. When in the she, sat there, she sat there and said that, isn't it crazy that animals will go out of their way, like the male species in animals will go out of their way to do the most to try to attract women. Showing about the peacock Showing all their fetters to just try to get some pussy. To act like men don't do that, but they like, get pussy to have kids. That's also they fair. don't fuck for fun. They don't no. So, they get, they nutting mm. them every time. 
Okay, John. No, no condoms. <laughs> Straight no raw. Condoms. Yeah, raw. So, no condoms. So there was an interesting uh, re- response I seen. I think it was a quote tweet earlier. Hold on, wait. Morning. You was in a space and they said that? No, it wasn't. This is wait a tweet. Minute. Sorry, this is not I, a space. Okay, I actually this want. Is a tweet. Okay, I wanted to hear the rebuttal to what that is. <laughs> no, but there's a quote tweet um, that said, "But men do that too because if you think about it, this peacock is just flexing feathers. It hasn't really. You don't get to. You haven't gotten to know this peacock whatsoever." But men do that all the time with all cars time. and jewelry. All so it's like, the time. isn't that the same thing? Like the, the jewelry impressed you and the yeah. car impressed you and yes. the, yeah. the photos impressed you and yes. then you fucked them. I wonder what the animals... So I, thought, I was like, hold on now, that's kind of one-to-one. How do they know that that animal... So say you have a baboon and a baboon has sex and the baboon nuts in the baboon. So the baboon gets pregnant. But do animals have nine months pregnancy too? Well, they do I'm pretty sure it's different for each other. I, think, I think it's different for you. I, think yeah, it's different. I don't know about baboons. Let me check for you, brother. So, like, so say the baboon, one baboon, number one, nuts in the girl. Then a day later, another baboon comes along and he gets a little piece. And he don't have no rubber because baboons don't wear rubbers. So he busts her. And then three days later, baboon number six, he wants some. Baboons are they're, um, 180 days. Is the answer? Damn, that's quick. That's six months, basically. Dang, that's quick. So, like, how do they know the father? You never know. They don't care. That's the reason why comparing it to us and animals is dumb. They don't. They don't care. They don't view sex or relationships the way so that. So, if you don't know do. your kids, you could end up fucking your kids. Okay, John. John, you are obsessed with this topic. Why is this on your mind? I'm saying, I see an, what you're an, saying, an John, but they don't. I okay, fine. They don't care. Fine, okay, John, you're right. I guess. Yo, Mr. Beast almost hit 100 mil on that um, Squid Games already. Yeah. No, that's crazy. <laughs> Last time I saw, it was like 36 million or or 69 million. I was say 36 million was like the first day. No yeah. cap. That's crazy. I wonder how many unique viewers watched that video. I don't know. It's at 106 million actually. Wow! In four days, it's probably the fastest video. That's not a music video to 100 million. or a big company to hit it. No, not probably, definitely. Is it hot? Is it? So he made all that money back. He put in it. Not only did he have an ad during the whole video yeah, that probably yeah. the sponsored him, it. like that ad. Whoever that app will never see that level of promo money spent ever again in their lives. I right. feel over his totality in the next few years is probably gonna have a few hundred million views, even if they pay Mr. Beast. Two and a half million dollars for that ad, it doesn't pale in comparison to what they got back in return, dog. He incorporated their game as part of like you saw it in the background of a lot of the other yep. games. Mm-hmm. They played the shit in person. He had like a small game in the middle of the video that promoted. It was the most seamless brand promo I've seen in my life. Um, they got a bargain. A fucking bargain. What's, what was the name of the game? <clears throat> I can't remember the name, but I know who you're talking about. Yeah. It was just an app, dog. I know you're talking about that. Yeah. And the only reason I paid attention is because that shit fascinates me. Um, but even if they convince like a I million think, I think of those people. I think they probably paid $3 million, though. But <clears throat> I think they probably paid $3 million and that, like you said, I still think that's a bargain. Yeah, the user acquisition cost for apps is high. So Mr. Beast is like top influential, bro. What a move. Amazing anyway, move. <clears throat> um, great video, though. Yeah, I watched it. Like the audacity of him to recreate those sets. They should definitely have him like do some kind of Easter egg in the next season. Now. That is a fact. Yeah, the audacity that nigga to just go the leaps and bounds of fucking create a set while he's also yeah, trying to save people. the ocean. <laughs> nigga saving the ocean and creating sets at the same time. The audacity yeah. of that nigga. That's a good. He has a good team together. Let me ask you because I, um, I had this conversation over Thanksgiving. Uh, actually, yeah, yeah, I meant to. Yeah. Oh, you don't you don't celebrate Thanksgiving. I meant to ask John how you Thanksgiving, but we were having a conversation over Thanksgiving where we were saying like, do you think that um. Highly successful people are, um, what is it? What is it called when you're full of yourself? Conceited. That's one way to look at it. So, I mean, y'all kind of hit. Y'all kind of hitting the same note. Yeah, no, yeah. You think that's impossible for like someone to reach the level of like a Will Smith and not be like egotistical or self centered or conceited? Nah, you just. You can be mad successful and regular, but after a while, because you it's been a minute since you experienced regular, you forget what it is a little bit. So the people around you is going to remind you. I don't think Will Smith has 
I mean, they're, they're probably around him, but I think even those people are like also just consumed with the success of who Will Smith is. Potentially. So it's kind of hard for, even for them to kind of really. It's possible. Because it's like, how, who am I to even try to hold Will Smith to being a regular person when he's clearly like far removed from being the average man? Yeah, Tiffany Haddish had a funny bit. Do you, you ever see Tiffany Haddish's Groupon bit? Uh, if you say it, it probably jog a memory because that kind of jogged my memory. She she had she's blown up in stand up or whatever comedy, and she asks uh, Jada, I believe. Uh, I hopefully I don't get the story wrong, but Jada just because, yeah, <clears throat> as opposed to the other Jadas we all know about. <laughs> so she asked her if they want to go on a cruise. It wasn't a cruise; it was like a a, a swamp boat ride. And she's like, yeah, of course. So then she brings Will. And so Tiffany, Will, and Jada go on this boat ride. But they assume, like, they were going to be the only people on the boat. And then Tiffany has like, oh, no, 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 no. Like, I had this I had this Groupon. And I thought, like, maybe you guys would enjoy it. But then the whole time, everyone's just like, oh, that's Will Smith. That's Will Smith. So he's so used to having exclusive experiences where, like, he's not around everybody because he really can't be around everybody all the time, sometimes for security reasons or privacy reasons. Um, but she, she, that bit, you should watch it because it, it blew up so much that she actually got a Groupon deal because of it. What do people call Kobe? The bean? No, no, like his mentality. Not the mama, mama. Not, not the mama mentality. Like when Kobe, like not selfish, I guess is another way to look at it, but it's, it's a word. What is that word? It's like when you're so successful and like nobody can't tell you no anymore, like you keep what proving... Or what about what they call Kanye? <laughs> Wait, what? Kanye? <laughs> he said motivate. They call Kanye a lot of stuff. <clears throat> yeah, they call him a lot of things. What is it? I Genius, don't know. Genius, idiot. Killer mindset. Um, <laughs> it's not a positive thing, though. I know. I could tell yeah, by the way you're saying it. Yeah. Sapiosexual. What does that mean? To answer it, but I believe <laughs> that... <laughs> shrug his shoulders. <laughs> uh, I, I believe that it's kind of hard not to, though. You kind of have to be a little delusional, though, to get to that point. Yeah, delusional is another, I guess. Another. Like, why would you even want to be as productive as Kobe? Like, if you wanted to live a happy life, you, Kobe should not be, like, your role model. Not that he didn't live a happy life. I'm not sure if he did or not. But he just lived such a tunnel-focused life that there's no way he had time to do a lot of the things that so make you happy. He was so focused on greatness. He didn't care about other stuff people kind of put above their work, like family, friends. Life, Let me call you him. only had his goals. Yeah, I, 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 I asked. I asked a lot of people that question, like a couple. Who are you calling? Omar. He would know the answer. He was there. Oh, he was the one who brought the question type shit. No, no, no. He was there at Thanksgiving with us. Yo, what, what were we calling um, Will Smith at Thanksgiving? A narcissist. Narcissist. Thanks, 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 thanks. I don't think that's the word for it. I'm but narcissist though you, you don't think You think it's hard to become That level of success While being a narcissist uh, Let me get this definition For y'all man A disorder in which A person has an inflated Self of self importance in, Inflated sense of self importance Oh I can see that <clears throat> I think I think it's I is it, think is it it's though, hard Is it an inflated sense He's Kobe Exactly That's what I'm saying Like that's who he is Exactly So it's not inflated Inflated would be like If I was acting like Kobe <laughs> But that's what I when they were saying it because they were like, um, my family was trying to downplay like Will Smith just comes across as a narcissist, and I was like, but he should though because he's Will Smith. <laughs> like, like, like I don't know. Like if you get to that level of success, it's kind of hard not to be a narcissist. No, like that's so weird because he built his career off being the relatable guy. Yeah, on shows you you related to his struggle. Um, but the reason why my my cousin. Was talking about that because she said she can feel the <laughs> facade about like how Will Smith is trying so hard to be so relatable that sometimes it's like we we're, you're Will Smith like stop like can we can we stop talking to me like I'm dumb like I know you're Will Smith like come on and then also because he like the same thing we were saying where um like it's like certain people inevitably will get canceled not because they did something outrageous but just because they framed themselves to be this relatable being and even though like someone like Ellen could go around doing the exact same thing that several other people in showbiz does like because she framed herself to be Ellen like next time somebody does something crazy or she does anything crazy they're like whoa no not Ellen Ellen didn't scream at an employee did she and it's like everybody does that so why is that crazy you scream at employees no I'm talking about at that level oh uh, maybe not um, maybe come on you think Oprah never screened at an employee? 
Right. Dr. Phil definitely screaming. Why scream? Dr. Dr. Phil definitely screaming. Dr. Dr. Phil's a demon. <laughs> Dr. Dr. Phil, Dr. Phil's definitely screaming. I say all that because I, I don't think I don't, it's narcissist though. Yeah, I would, I, I, I would argue if you're Will Smith, is not narcissism. Until you reach like Kanye levels, then it's breaching it a little bit. When Kanye was on his Yeezy shit, I was like, yeah, that's. <laughs> hey, he was like, this is, this is getting yeah, up there. That's it. Kanye did it. <laughs> you definitely cr- you cr- you crossing it, nigga. I was I was once allowed yourself to be called a, a genius, but now you're talking about you're God. All right, all right nigga, you're, you're done. <laughs> you're, you're pushing it, nigga. All I, but I do believe that it's hard. I think it's very very hard to reach that level and not be a narcissist. It's like, bro, you've been accomplishing and succeeding in so many things. Like, how can anybody tell you different at this point? Like, yeah. and on top of that, for you to be that successful, you have to, like, be so full of yourself that you can convince yourself you can do anything. So Will Smith was, like, just a rapper, and he was like, but I think I can act in a, in a TV show. And then that popped for him. Then he was like, I think I can also act in movies. And then that worked out for him. So now this nigga, everything just keeps working for this nigga. Now I think I could be an author. Yeah. Now he's like, I can be an author and lose weight at the same time and then record it and upload it on YouTube. Be a YouTuber too. <laughs> I'm fucking Will Smith, nigga. And every single time he uploads, nigga, audience retention's through the roof, millions of views. And he's like, yeah, all this shit is working, nigga. I'm fucking Will Smith, nigga. No, I can don't. find everything hiding in destiny from me if I take it with my whole heart. So did you guys You John said he watched um, That uh, Shape of My Life series Will Smith Did you watch it? I, I haven't finished it But I've watched So he Will Smith talked about um, Like his experience With his dad And how it built him To be like a soldier um, yeah. And so he has This like soldier mentality And He almost Throughout the course Of the series Like differentiated When he was being himself And when he was being a soldier Yeah And um Anyway, uh, at a certain point in the series, I don't know how real it was because, again, it's a fucking show. Who knows how scripted it was? But he, like, broke down and was like, fuck this shit. I'm not doing it. Yeah. And then he came yeah. back a little bit later and was like, you know what? If I'm going to do this, I'm not going to try and, like, put on a front. It'll just be, like, me. And he said that was the first time he's ever shown, like, really him. And he wasn't trying to please people because he grew up just being a people pleaser. But that's the that's reason why my... Cousin was like, that's why she doesn't like Will Smith because she could feel like you're just trying so hard to please, to a please and appeal to so many people as possible. And through a career aspect, that makes sense because you're trying to be as relatable as to many people as possible, which is significantly difficult to do in, in certain areas, especially just as a black man in entertainment. Like normally there's a cap to what you, how relatable you can be, but you he somehow found a way. But even she was like, yeah, this is like, it was cool, like, back when you were the Fresh Prince, but at this point, it's, like, now been, like, nearly 20 years of you just trying to, like, yeah. explain to me why you're so relatable. And it's, like, I get it. I was watching some videos on that, like, literally, I think last night. No, it was the night before. And it was uh, it was basically on the concept. Bill Burr was on some podcast talking about how he didn't really need everybody to like him. He gave that up a while ago. He just needs enough people to like him so that he can, like, fill a show. And continue to do what he loves. Yeah. I think, yeah, trying to get everyone to like you is that's a lost cause. You're not gonna please everybody. But that was that was I know what you're talking about too. I I haven't finished it, but I saw snippets of him like being frustrated and upset. And he had also said something along the lines of like the reason why him and Jada never really completely fell out to the point of divorcing is because, like you said, he was raised with that, you know, uh military on a mission type of mindset. And like thinking to himself, like failing is not an option. Like we got to figure yep, out a different that's way. That's exactly how he thinks. And you and know what's funny in the in the series? I think that's detrimental to a degree. But he that's what he argued. But I think he's wrong. And I think it's because he's never lived a life not doing that. So he doesn't know what the opposite of that is. And that is like just accepting things for what they are and never making an attempt to make them better. The world would be better if there was more soldiers, in my opinion. Um, work through your trauma. And work to be a better human, but sometimes you just need to move more militant. Sometimes instead of acting emotionally, you need to act more logically. I think there's a lot of merit to just being able to share the two. So I just pull up his YouTube. Man, this series blew the fuck up. Yeah, I know. Jesus. If you ever get a chance to look at like the audience retention shit, it's fucking ridiculous. I've never I haven't gotten that update yet. You still haven't got it? No. I can when we can, I can show you to you on there. 
It's uh, a good series, dog. Oh, it is. It's, it is it's a good series. And it's it's weird because um, there was a bit in there where he got mad at his cameraman because his cameraman didn't have something ready the, for the shoot. The stop the stopwatch oh, yeah. thing. You yeah. see, remember that? And yeah, it was such the a clock. Yeah. yeah, the clock. Yeah, it, it was, was. It was. But it's like that. That happens though. Where like that's not even the thing he's really angry about. He's just angry in general. But this just ticked him off some more. Yeah, you feel me? Um, but I, I think I think he's angry. That's what you're saying is true, but also I think he is angry at the premise of like, again, going back to who he is as a person where it's like, why would you even show up? And why, why would you show up like this? Like you clearly know, like we need to shoot this correctly and it needs to look a certain way. And to a degree, I think he, like you said, because he's trying to please everyone so much so to where like, if it doesn't look a certain way, if it doesn't look official, if it doesn't look professional, then why why are we even here doing this shit? Like, what's the point of doing it? Mm-hmm. And I think a lot of people, I, th- I think at times even I find myself like dealing with that exact same thing where it's like, I would much rather not even do it if it's not done the way that I want it done. But I still think that's detrimental to a certain degree because it's it's like this level of absoluteness that even at times I can't achieve, but I still believe that I hold people to that standard. I believe I hold people. Some of the people that we hire hold people to that standard, and I get frustrated. Yeah, yeah, it just happens. I, I, agent I was, be talking to me from firing y'all niggas. What? <laughs> and he's, some of y'all niggas behind the scenes, bro. Agent be talking me out of firing y'all, bro. It's crazy. He's bro. lying. I'll be like, man, I'm fucking tired of this nigga. He didn't have this shit ready at six or one. The agent be like, I'm like, give him a chance, dog. Like, no, nigga. I would have had that shit done. <laughs> why, are we even f- why are we even here, nigga? But no, I, I I still believe it's it's I understand what you're saying. I still believe it's I think it's I, I think it's still detrimental. You know what I've been doing recently, bro? So what what happened? It's kinda bro. transformed my thoughts. What's so that? um my parents live in Ethiopia, right? Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if you know, Ethiopia is having like a bad civil war right now. I did not know. And there's some groups just hating other groups. And there's some groups that don't like the other groups that have power. And Ethiopia is just like bare tribes, like so many tribes everywhere. And mm. each tribe fuck with their own tribe. And opposing tribe, if you're not fucking with them, they're not fucking with you. So anyway, I always ask my mom, like, mom, why are you there? If it's less safe, the inflation is nuts there because, again, it's civil unrest. And they're trying to overthrow the government, all type of shit. I'm like, why are you there? Just come back. Anyway, I, I was watching some videos about like, people's lives these they would bring these cameras and follow like individual people's lives and there'd be a mom that would like wake up in the butter dawn cook breakfast then she would go out and chop trees for four hours and then she would take that wood and travel to a market that's a two-hour walk away and if she sold everything from that market she'd make like 10 cents and then she would she would buy food and then travel with it back now if she had a bad day at the market she would come back two hour walk and then she'd have more work to do. And she got back. I was just like, God, what the fuck? Like, how can someone reasonably maintain that? It's like, I think we just set the standards for ourselves so low. And like our privilege is so crazy in certain parts of the world that like, it's like, bro, you get cut off in traffic. You're done. Like your day's over. And I couldn't help, but just like, I don't know. I don't know if the word is feel guilty that I even had felt like I had things to complain about. And it's not just, it shouldn't be the case that just cause someone else, someone else has it worse than that. You're not going through shit. But I was just like, fuck like what they would, the, the fact that people are just smiling and enjoying life, but they're living these lives that we would like, I don't know. I just kind of, it's been a minute since it's been over a decade since I've been to Ethiopia. And even when I went, I was in the suburbs and in the city. I was in the country for a bit, but even in the country, my parents didn't let me move around. They was like, don't, don't think you could just walk around here. Like stay with your grandma. So I didn't like walk around even when I was in the middle of nowhere type shit. But now that I seen the middle of nowhere on video, I did want to just go. Cause I feel like it would provide, I think some people travel and they're like traveling provides me so much. What do they say? Perspective, I guess, but they'd be traveling to like vacation destinations. <laughs> Um, just travel like to a real place, trying to be safe. 
Um, obviously, depending on the region, it might not be that safe. I'm about to say I don't. But I got close enough to the border of Mexico to already know. Like, I mean, that shit's dangerous over nah, there. No, but I man. I went to when when I was in Mexico. You went to a, a vacation destination. Yeah, no, 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 that's where that's where Walid stayed, bro. During the day, I was not there. I was driving around. So um, I was even about to drive to Mexico City until I Googled it and. Like Google Sean told me it was one of the most dangerous places on earth. That's what I'm saying. And yeah. it was a three hour drive. So I was like, fuck it. I don't want to go. Um, but the point is, is your perspective, man. Go over no, there. No, but I was driving around to, to nearby locations. So uh, Cancun was two hours north. So no, it was an hour north. So I was like on the coast technically. And it was like a whole bunch of places. So they were a little touristy. But I was I would just like walk around, walk into the Walmart. I was like, oh shit, this Walmart has like this type of Oreos. Like I've never seen this type of just experiencing things. Um, and everyone there, especially at the resort, kept telling me it's not safe. Don't do it. It's not safe. Don't do it. What's not safe? Just, just, just going around in Mexico because people will be able to spot you and immediately tell you're not from there, and they might try you. And try I, you I'm not going like rob you, nigga. rob you, kill you. Like I was, I'm not going places. Them, them places make any place in America look like safe. Like that's how crazy I hear some of the stories over. Yeah, there. and I was ro- rolling around a Jeep Gladiator, and that was like a. That was like a Maybach there. You weren't seeing like good vehicles. Oh, so you hop out a, a Jeep Gladiator with they try outfit you. on. They with try some you. Off white vibes. <laughs> they try you, nigga. They try you he immediately. Has a million pesos. <laughs> extortion. <laughs> they try you immediately. And they bro. just kidnap you and hold you, then send a letter. Send a us. letter. <laughs> nah, but um, well, anyway. Nah, because we have your, you have your friend, <laughs> Agent. Two zeros. <laughs> they're trying. They're trying. That nigga. Anyway, I just the video kind of just was transformative for me in the way that I I seen things. I just never seen that before in in detail. I never followed someone's life. I keep in mind it's a video. Who knows how true it is? But assuming the facts of the case is the facts of the case. <sighs> I understand what you're saying, but I still feel like I don't. I don't. Me personally, I don't need to. Oh, uh, anyway, going I don't back need on, to be there. In, going back on topic though. So like Will Smith is not nearly as militant as the one woman that I was watching on that video. Oh yeah, I understand what you're so saying. So yeah. by our standards, though, Will Smith is the extreme. But in other areas of the world, what Will the the work ethic he has to entertain people, people have to do it to survive, and there's more on the line. And um, and those are just what we would describe as regular people. So they're not. We don't even describe them as outstanding. Because of what they do, we just those are just regular people, but they do, they meet our standing for outstanding, um, but we just don't see them as that. And I, anyway, I thought it was very, very interesting. Fair. I just still feel like that mind state that Will Smith has. I'm pretty sure that it's like emotionally draining because it's like you're trying to force something to happen that probably. Is it going to happen or something that's completely out of your control? How do you feel about um, Will Smith just like revealing like weird, like weird things about his life? Like that shit that he said about him throwing up is crazy. I don't know. You heard that, John? I heard a lot of stuff. But which 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 one are you talking about? Will Smith said that he has had sex so often that like him when he orgasm leads to him throwing up. It leads to him vomiting. So he had so much sex after he found out about the... the no, no, just things. in general. He's had so much sex in his life. I think he was life. referring to his, like, younger days and shit. Yeah, he's had so much sex in his life. He's at, he's now at a point where when if he orgasms, he'll, he'll, he might throw up. Like, he might literally vomit. I don't think he was oh. talking about current day. I think he just said that happened to him. Like, he had so much of it that he started throwing up. I don't know if he's like that right now. I mean, if he's throwing up on orgasms, that means he's trying to have less sex. And I mean, less sex... I mean, Jada getting less dick. She has to go get. I don't what? know why are you correlating this to Jada. <laughs> I'm just trying to correlate the well being of Will Smith. That's all I was trying to correlate this to. You immediately pivoted to. You trying so to justify so Jada trying, getting dick down by somebody? So trying, what are you trying to tell? No, know the game? No, 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 no. She's wrong. Yeah. She's what did wrong. she do? She's talking about her, him, her getting dick down by other men. She's, oh. been, she's been embarrassing this man for months. Oh, well, that too. Yeah, she's definitely wrong. Yeah. Every month. <laughs> Every month something pops up about she said. But so you saying that too much pussy is bad. For, I guess for Will at that point in time in his life it was. What about for you? 
I'm not vomiting. What? <laughs> what? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not throwing up. Also, he's not having too much sex, right? Yeah, I'm not. You're not. Too much sex to where I'm, Bro, I'm when vomiting. Will Smith was at the top of rap, dog. Yeah, come on, man. He might be fucking like twice a day. Way more than twice a day. I would assume, yeah, that's you would have to be having that how, level of sex. How much sex do you think little baby has? That's such know. a weird question to ask. But also, you saw the you saw it, man. You saw you saw yeah, that is great. You saw <laughs> that video with him in y- YK. YK, how much? What he say? He said five thousand. He said you owe me five thousand. Did then, you watch that video? That video is fucking hilarious, bro. Baby press YK because he owed him five bands. He pressed him at a jewelry spot. What was it? What was that? At Icebox. Oh, right here. Oh, he yeah. did? This is here. Yeah. Oh, snap. Oh, the Icebox. I, I started it, but I didn't finish it. Nigga, that shit's hilarious. He's like, he was man. talking about lie detector test. You know, Murray. No, I didn't see that part of it. I just saw the part where a nigga was pressing him like, "Yo, man, don't you owe me like five k?" And then Osiris is like, "Ah, man, you funny, dog. Ah, you funny. You so rich, you don't even care about that." He's like, "Nah, man, I, I couldn't. I shouldn't even have to ask you about that. Like, what my five thousand that like, like I shouldn't." He's like, "Oh, man, you funny, bro. You so rich, dog. You don't, you don't even like, matter." It's only been like three months though, and he's like, "Nah, it be about like five, six. It be like five, six months." <laughs> He's, he's like, like what? He was like, wait, June, what? June, July, August. No, no, he was like, no, no. He's, he's like, he's like, hey, wasn't it like June or July? He's like, no, nah, that shit was like in April. Man, what you talking about? It was like April, May, June, July, August, <laughs> September. Man, it's really like six. It's like seven, eight months. Like, what's going on, nigga? And he's like, I shouldn't even have to fucking ask you, nigga. You should. That's why I don't like giving money to people. Wait, he pressed though. him for real. Yeah, he did. You just like going. He was like, like a, all, it wasn't like it wasn't aggressive. Give my money. It was like, real nah. casual. Oh, he wasn't it, like. Oh No but he was He was, he was see, why, Osiris was the only one Who was laughing Baby oh, was laughing. Baby was, wasn't like He was like Nah nigga Like you really owe me money Like what's what's up And he was like Bro you so funny Dog You funny He was like oh, Alright bad. Like I shouldn't have to ask you For no money Bro I need that money on me Yo um, that, He was dead ass serious He wasn't um, like he wasn't, Going to a jewelry <laughs> store While you owe people money Is nuts by the way That's why I think that's what he said He was like <laughs> Nigga why are you in here Talking about Potentially buying some shit And you owe me 5,000 What's up with you nigga Then Boosie came out And said yeah, he owe me 12 1,200 12, Lil Boosie said Osiris owe me 1,200 Cause they did a bet got that bet <laughs> Yeah cause he did a, Yeah he did a bet oh, And he lost the bet And he's like yo You wanna double up And he lost again He was like Yeah so he still He still owe me money the world <laughs> so I, I need my money Yeah baby that, Oh wait uh, And then once Once baby got done With the um the month thing He was like Yeah really That should have been like Really about like Seven eight months So really got some Interest on that thing Huh And you're like Right It got some interest On that right And he was like Man you tripping You funny though You funny Ha 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 You funny Nigga the next day This nigga Osiris Posted the fucking pic Saying he, 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 Call baby Somebody give me baby number So I can give him His money back And some interest I was like, nigga. Baby's a new he 50 posted cent. that. <laughs> posted yeah. it like he didn't know where this nigga baby was at. Like, come on, bro. You was just oh, yeah. with this nigga. Come on, dog. Yeah, baby, baby, baby. <laughs> baby told him he, he need them full pocket full. I need, I need that money, nigga. What's up with you, dog? Yeah. I shouldn't even have to bring this shit up to you, nigga. That shit was crazy. I was like, damn. This nigga really be capping. This nigga dead ass be capping. Bro, being bro. in debt, but flexing on IG yeah. is crazy. I'm getting tired of rappers doing that shit too. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm getting tired of yo. I'm hey, no cap. I mean, t- I'm getting tired of like us having to act like rappers really got money. I'm tired of that because we know they really don't. I hope y'all know that, bro. I hope y'all know like like majority of the rappers ain't really got money like that. No, they, I'm, they have it. They just spend it all. And if you in debt to a, a um a record label, I don't I don't view you having money. Not your advance, dog. Once. Once you once you pass your rookie contract in music, you have money. But well, how many people are passing their rookie contracts? That's a fantastic question. I don't have the exactly. answer. Exactly, and ain't that many people who are fulfilling their their rookie contracts to the point where they can just move f- forward comfortably? Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Let's be let's be clear. I'm, I'm talking about not like the average. I'm not talking about like high upper echelon. Like I, Rick Ross has money. Like I know that nigga has money. But I'm talking. About, even you know what's so crazy? Even Ross said that. He didn't really start touching money until like Teflon Dawn. Mm-hmm. But all those years before, he really wasn't making that much money, if any. Yep, that's how it is. No cap. Like, um, same shit with Rihanna. Rihanna made probably a couple hundred mil off music. But keep mm. in mind, look how big she is. A couple hundred mil, that's it? People make billions in silence. 
she made her billion um, when she started her um, makeup brand or yeah, makeup brand, Fendi. lingerie brand, fashion Whatever brand. It is, yeah. Yeah, that's that's really where all the money's at. Yeah, talking about money. So I was recording this. I was recording a video where I was sleeping out of my Ram truck. I, but I went by the Mercedes Benz Stadium to shoot my ad. I had an ad I was shooting, right? Mm-hmm. So as I was shooting this ad, um, keep in mind this is by the Mercedes Benz Stadium, not a great area. And I was in an alley, and I wasn't even really supposed to be there. And a guy walks up from under the shadows. I'm like, I'm panicking. I have cameras out and everything. Who um, was with you? I was alone. Batman wasn't with you. Nah, no one's there. Man, what's wrong with you? Yeah. Hey, how you going that side of town and Batman not even with you at yeah, least? I don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, the guy pulled up. He's like, yo. I'm like, what's good, man? But the way he looked at me, he watches my videos. So he's like, oh, man, crazy to see you here. So anyway, I was bored. Yeah, I was it waiting. is very crazy. <laughs> and I'd be like, yo, man, is that, is that, is that, is that cash, man? <laughs> <laughs> yo, a nigga in Louisiana, like, there's no way that's fucking cash right now. <laughs> in a fucking alley in New Orleans, like nigga cash just doing a fucking video <laughs> in a fucking pickup truck. It's crazy. Or right, niggas doing when cash is doing those fucking swamp videos. Like uh, there's no way that's cash right now. <laughs> that cash nasty by himself fucking recording in the swamp. <laughs> So anyway, he started like, yo, I know agent, you got your money invested, man. Uh, what you know about crypto? And I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm that just- is a crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't even believe you right now. I swear to God. That's the craziest I conversation to God. I swear a nigga to God. I swear to God. had on the fucking west side of Atlanta. I swear to God. In the middle so of the night. Like, so he told me, he told me the job he does, and he like, yo. I, I can't believe you don't know about this agent. And I was like, damn, why are you shitting on me? And he showed me this app. He said, yo, look, you can buy virtual land. I'm like, bro, are you trying to finesse me into a pyramid scheme? I could buy virtual land. He's like, yeah, bro, like it's a virtual what the world, fuck are we and you can about? buy virtual land. It's a crypto. So he went on talking. He's like, yeah, it's called Mana. It's decentralized. He just used all these words that I was familiar with, but I didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. Anyway, he walked off because I had to end that convo. Because <laughs> <Yeah>, expeditiously, <laughs> niggas trying to set you up ASAP. <laughs> so then I went home, and then the next day. I watched the video on the exact thing. They just came up on my feed mm-hmm. as if like fucking Google was listening to me. Yeah. There is a cryptocurrency called decentralized. Uh, well, the world is called decentralized. The idea is it's like, think about, have you ever seen PlayStation home? Yeah. yeah. It's like PlayStation home, but think about like VR chat. Okay. But you can buy plots of land, parcels of land in the world. You can buy like, names and skins and you use it like i don't know how to explain it to you but it's it's literally a virtual world so i was like that is fascinating there's this show on netflix called kiss me first with a similar concept where these people have like these miserable lives so they throw on these vr headsets and they're having the time of their lives living in this virtual world so i'm seeing day one of the fucking show that i love kiss me first now So then I'd stop and think like, what the fuck is going on? Where someone just, there was a guy who dropped two and a half million on a parcel of land in the app, which is nuts. I think people's laundering money, if I had to guess. But regardless, that's still a lot of money to try and launder through. (laughs) That's what it sounds like. I ain't gonna hold you. Some of the shit y'all invested in, I'm like, man, y'all niggas is fucking. But look. Boosting economies and money laundering. I swear y'all are. But so then I thought like, but there has to be something in this because their initial coin offering in 2017 um, was went for 26 million. That's a big initial coin offering. And now Mana, the coin that is basically their in-game currency, is a top 50 coin in trade volume. So obviously it's working. Now check this out though. There's something about like high level executives, like we don't give them enough credit for them being right. Mark Zuckerberg was right that the way that we interacted with each other was gonna go from in person to online. So he made Facebook. He was right. And he knew that way before any of us knew that. You know what the fuck? Well, I, well, Tom knew about it too. Who? MySpace. Oh, yeah. But I'm talking about those executives. Oh, so right. um, um, the, the, the Page, the Larry, whatever the fuck guy who, mm-hmm. who, who started Google. Like, these guys just know. You know who else knows that I'm familiar with? Strauss Zelnick, the CEO of Take Two. I'm familiar with him because I have to research him for my gaming videos. And he has not been wrong in his career about a bet he's made about the future. Now, take this in. What are John? What's that face? What? Why are you making that face? What face? The one like you just lost the whole podcast footage. No, I just practicing what I would look like if I were to mess up, but I don't do that. Let go. I hate this guy. Oh my I hate God. him. That's, I was just so, practicing. So 
Do you remember in like 2015, 2014 when Facebook bought Oculus Rift? Yes. Oculus was the biggest VR headset company. And in my head, I was thinking, <laughs> what business does Facebook have in VR and AR? That's usually like a gaming thing. Like games are going to have VR and AR. But the reason he bought it was because in 2014, Mark Zuckerberg recognized that the next shift is going to be into what he's describing as the metaverse, which is why he rebranded Facebook as Meta, because he wants Facebook to lead that charge. Now, Facebook is not the first company to try it. Decentralize this. They're the first guys to do it. They might not be the best ones. They might not be the ones who last, but they're the first people. So they have the first movers advantage. So there is this world of people right now in 2021 that believe that the world is going to move more into the metaverse and you're going to buy your jean shorts on the metaverse and you're going to throw mm. in your vr headset and you're going to have your name and your versace like glasses player one? yes exactly i watched that i watched that movie like maybe a couple of weeks ago and then i heard about the metaverse i don't know what do you feel about that part of me wants to be excited because it's so futuristic but i also know that's like we're if just it, too far removed from that, though. I don't. I don't think we're even if we. I'm talking about like full fledged blown us in there walking around, yeah, buying shit. I think we're. I have, think, you, have you played VR chat before? Yes, VR chat is is basically that. But I'm talking about to the extent of Ready Player One. Oh no 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 no! D to the point where you're running. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No. Yeah. So there's there's like the first movie I ever seen like this was a movie called Gamer. Um, I, I had it ripped on DVD. Oh. Catch. What he throwing? God damn! What is that? Yeah, let me see it. <laughs> oh, that's why I can't say. Yeah, that's why I can't say. You know, he posted something. Baby. He was like, "Pray for me. I'm ready to go or something." And someone said, "Pray for him." I guess everybody he owed money just came at one time. Damn. Oh, so he came and gave him the five k. No, no, no. I think that's at the video. Oh, okay. But when, he, when little baby was pulling out all that, oh yeah, okay, yes, 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 he and he just looked so sad in the back. Look at this, <laughs> look at him in the, look at him, look at oh man, we got to get this to Caleb. Look at this nigga in the background, like looking at his money, like man, that's a lot of money, man. I wish I he had that money. A like hundred thousand out of bag, he just over there looking like, but he just bought like three hundred thousand dollar earrings. Bro, you see the skit beneath it. The skit beneath it is fucking hilarious. What where he's like, when when they ready to ask for some money, like a nigga's counting money, and then dude next to him, like, man, like, that's a lot of fucking, man. Man, my baby mama tripping again, man. Like, she already took all the money I got, man. Fuck, God, man. Damn. My dog need a second heart. Damn. Matter of <laughs> fact, he, he literally I ran. get that heart by this weekend. He gonna die. <laughs> that shit at least 90 bands. I don't know who I can get it from, though, but. Shit get real hard out here, man. I don't know if I want. I don't know if I'm ready for <laughs> VR or AR. Give a blessing. Like, get a like blessing. ready. Like ready for me to spend like hours of my day on that type of shit. I think that. So anyway, let me go back. There was a movie called Gamer, and the idea was there was these rich people that, for a fee, could control prisoners. And there was a hundred prisoners, and if you survived and you didn't die, you got to go free. But you're being controlled by somebody in like this circular gaming station. But like, think about it. Like we, you can play a racing game with a racing simulator, right? You throw on a, have you seen like Minecraft Earth or any of those like AR games or Pokemon Go has like something like that too? Yeah. It is, bro, I don't think we're like 10 years away from it being, no, more sooner. We're like five years away from it being like really, really right there. And these, these, uh, anyway. They're using NFTs though. So like the your jean shorts that you buy is an NFTs. And so all of that stuff is unique to you and you technically own it virtually. And so I, I had trouble believing that all this was gonna happen, but there was something I read somewhere that said, Damn, you open your mouth wide as fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fuck, man. He opens his mouth so wide, like a goddamn yeah. rhinoceros. No cat. You mean hippo? Yeah, hippo, sorry. A hippo. I was like, it's rhinoceros. A hippo. He probably has like small mouths. I don't, I've, never seen, I've never seen a rhinoceros mouth in my life. Or a confused manatee. Yeah. Maybe that too. Actually, I can see that. Anyway. anyway. Um, yeah, anyway, anyway. Usually like when there's like a technological advance on the precipice, people is really excited about it. There's like an overwhelming amount of people I see that's like against this though, which I think is very interesting. Because you know, people, people really don't live. People already live in a reality they don't believe in. 
it's going to cause depression and suicide rates to go up. People are going to get so mm. lost in the game and they, that shit go off. Say, it could be the other way around, though. People, people who are depressed and probably believe that they're like losers in this so reality be, may think they'll have a second. Game. But they, they, yeah, they think they'll have a second chance it's in the reality. Out. Where it's going to be it's dangerous, power, this nigga said, your the whole life going. Right. Where it's going to be dangerous is when they combine yeah, can't drive your a metaverse no with like a good RPG game. Like Diablo or RuneScape. Or GTA. GTA virtual reality. You could feel Whoa. get a shot. All right. Whoa. You feel getting right. beat up. No, no. Like you got to really have a feel getting shot. I don't want to feel getting shot. Remember, remember, the, thing, remember you, the game they had those vests? You can you can wear the... Uh, I know, but I don't I don't want to feel getting shot. You don't I just, play. I, yeah, you're right. Or don't get shot. And what if like you die, but they keep shooting, John? <laughs> you just gonna feel you're just like... Uh, <laughs> you're a real well, life. You you are real life like, uh, what if you go to the hospital for y'all wait for the ambulance and the ambulance don't come, you bleed out and you like you feel the pain until you die? That's and then you, that's, you come back. I don't need your ass. I don't need to get your ass death. I don't I don't need that. Well if you slow, you really slow. Like it, everybody don't run the same speed. Like if you slow, I'm gonna catch you. But take this in though. We're like as we are right now, this will probably be the last time in human history. Where humans are smarter than robots, because we're like on the horizon of robots just outsmarting us and being able to learn on their own. And Tesla's proving it with their cars. Uh, Boston Dynamics is proving it with their robots. Uh, yeah. Anyway, that whole world is so cool to me. Hopefully the the hopefully the Earth doesn't suck in thirty years, but it probably will. We're probably in the golden ages right now. What well, about to say? I I think that what Facebook could potentially do is great. Because imagine if like you know how they pitched it, we just we're looking for the next frontier to help connect people. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What if what if that what if like I think that idea is actually pretty interesting. Where like if you like you and like a friend of yours that you haven't seen in a long time or a family member that you haven't seen in a long time, if both of y'all can just have VR sets, mm -hmm. and now y'all can just be essentially sitting in the same room with one another, spending time with one another. So, so I, when was the last time you played a VR game? Uh, probably a year, like years ago. Yeah, the problem with VR games right now is movement. Like, that's why I said sit. I'm yeah. talking about you just yeah. like, like there needs to now. be a way for you to simulate the steps in real life in a game. Um, and it's just not there yet. Once once somebody figures that out, that's gonna be a breakthrough. That's gonna be a fucking breakthrough. Oh, uh, how do you feel about buying virtual land, John? You think it's a uh, a good investment. Y'all should have saw John face when he like. I saw. Him. <laughs> like, what's well, up? Would you buy some virtual land? There was a parcel of land a guy bought for like ninety two. He bought it for a hundred dollars three years ago. It sold for ninety two bands recently. Virtual. Yeah. So this, this well, land he bought land doesn't on a, exist. On a SD card. Technically on his phone. I guess so. Yeah. It's not real land. He can't go there. He cannot go there physically. Just, well, virtually, maybe. He can virtually go there. Yeah. When VR comes out, no, no, no like no. virtually, like one of right now, virtually. like right now, you can go. So it's basically storage, similar, similar to how when people when people ask about like NFTs and VR and shit like that, I always like, well, you don't play too. Yeah, bad. I don't really know about NFTs, but it's, Think it's about like, it like it's almost like when you like when niggas play two K and they buy they buy my team cards and they actually spend real money yeah, yeah, yeah. to fucking for VC to then go buy my team cards. Yeah, or and then they can turn around. The only difference is that. On on 2K, you can't turn VC in back into real money. That's the only difference. But imagine if you could spend real money to buy VC, and then with the VC open packs, you then pull a Diamond T Mac. The Diamond T you only you had fifty thousand VC to get the Diamond T Mac, but then the Diamond T Mac is selling on the market for like two hundred thousand VC. You then sell it, get the two hundred thousand, and convert it back into cash. That's literally essentially what this shit is like. Yeah. The only thing that we just don't participate yet in is turning VC back into like re legit money. But if niggas could do that, niggas would be on 2K non fucking stop, nigga. Yeah. And it's right now it's built on the Ethereum network. Um, oh, 2K is? No, no. no. I'm, oh, talking about, I'm talking about decentralized. Oh, I'm about to say, like, 2K being crazy. on Ethereum is nuts. I was like, nigga, 2K? Yeah. Um, Anyway, all of that seems so cool to me. Um, anyway, the premise of that specific uh, NFT coin project 
is is decentralized. So nobody owns it. So the community votes. The people who are part of the community and that own it, they mm. all vote to make changes to the community. Um, and so there's no one leader or central. Again, dog, hippopotamus. <laughs> Just before we go, I want to ask John, um, how did, how did he spend his on um, Thanksgiving, man? First half with my mom, second half with my dad, last half with Lee. What'd you what'd you do with Lee? You got three halves? Hmm? Three halves make a whole? What'd you do with Lee? Huh? What'd you do with Lee? We were just thankful for the day. <laughs> I get that, but what did y'all do? Just enjoy each other's company and be thankful. Oh, uh, so y'all but just I, Oh, what we really did? What, what was that? Thanksgiving was Thursday. Did you cook anything or no? No, nah, no, nah, I didn't cook. Yeah, I I cooked mac and cheese. How'd it come out? Came out great, actually. No cap. No cap. Dang. I was fucking ecstatic. I was proud of myself, bro. You must have cooked it just for like two people? What? You didn't cook a lot, did you? Yes, I did. Oh, you did? Oh, it was so good that you didn't want to share. <laughs> I did. What do you know about share? does the most exciting things in his life and doesn't invite none of us. It was for my family. What are you talking about? Bro, you know you had leftovers. You know you had at my family's, bro. You I was gonna see like, yo, agent and John gonna want some, so yeah, save me a plate. Yeah, think about us. What the fuck? No, at least think about agent. Yeah, you know how much I love mac and cheese. It was on wow. point two, dog. Even my mom bro, rated it. My mom was like, us. your mom. What'd your mom rate it? My mom said it was good. Nike stores let, me see, let, me, let me see exactly what she said. Went to, yeah, raise up bomb mac and cheese. That's like saying, "Lo, I seen these amazing jean shorts. Buy, buy none, get six free." <laughs> Didn't pick them up though, but it was amazing though. Yeah, it was spectacular. All, all in you my size, all in my size, all in your size too. All the crazy designs you had. Hey, ain't crazy <laughs> if if it's going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, where is my mom? I are had you, pockets can, on the back. How come we don't invite us to things? Why, why don't you invite it us? It was to my family. Uh, what you watch? call it? It was my family. What you call it? Bro? But it's just a comp- it's a compiling thing now. You know, first it was just the strip clubs you go to without <laughs> us, but now it's you like out of control. It is. Oh, that's that's you're how y'all feel. Yeah, that's how y'all feel. Y'all feel it's getting out of control. Like because you went to a comedy show. Time. You went. You went all type of places. Dog. I was like, damn, they take me somewhere. Nigga, stop. Take me out. My mom said, all you do "Now I'll just be late." My mom said every day. Dog. My, mom, my mom said, "I'm I'm proud of you, son. Very good. First gold medal, mac and cheese. Just need a little bit more milk." Yep. So it wasn't good. Yeah. She just she, gave you a pat on the back. She gave you a nothing burger year, compliment. More milk. No, everybody everybody ate it. So I actually think even I ate. It. I was like, no, this is actually pretty good for my first like full on attempt. I guess second. I'll take you, back second. Was there another option for mac and cheese, or you had the only mac and cheese? No, there was two options. So yeah. there was two plates. And none of those made its way into into my vicinity. You didn't bring a single so mac and cheese. Why didn't you come? You didn't. Now you invite me. I'm asking you. Would you have come? Nigga, if you told me mac and cheese was there, I'm asking you. Would I'm you have come? Uh, nah, he it was two big pans of mac and cheese. Yeah, Lo made his own mac and cheese. So there was extras and for sure. No, there was, there was leftovers, right? Oh, for sure, for sure. Are there still leftovers? Actually, it might be. I don't know. So nah, it's too late now. No, no. I'm for me. I don't know. I, I left. I actually now. gotta go back to my cousin's house and get our dish. Thursday? Thursday, yeah. Yes, they don't want that now. It's about to be Monday. Yeah, you, you don't want that. <laughs> you know what Ply said? What he say? The Thanksgiving rules. What's the Thanksgiving? That? Thanksgiving about uh, leftovers. No, what do you say? The leftovers are, are good the second day, the day after they're good, the day after the third day, you're pushing it. Four days, <laughs> you broke. It is, so you oh, yeah. You well. ain't bought no new food yet, you still eat it? The fifth day? It yeah. depends on what it is, though. Because you can make spaghetti stretch for four days. You can definitely make spaghetti stretch for four days. So what? you will eat the same spaghetti from Monday. Oh, I'm not eating it every single Thursday. day. I'm not, eating, I'm, not, I'm not eating it every single day. What I'm saying is, <laughs> if you just left it in your refrigerator for... If I made you for, spaghetti day... I will still I eat it on Wednesday. It to you. Wednesday, I'll still eat it on Wednesday. No, 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 no. I'll make it Tuesday and give it to you for a Sunday podcast. I didn't make it. I didn't make macaroni and cheese on Tuesday. But you say it can stretch four days. It it's not four stretch. days. Tuesday to next Sunday. That's not four days. Nah, that's Tuesday. 
Tuesday, what? Wednesday, Thursday, no. Friday. Friday would make Wednesday, the fourth day. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So it's still not four days, John. That's four days. You said you eat it on Sunday, the fifth day. So that's five days, nigga. It's four days of fermenting. <laughs> fermenting is crazy. <laughs> crazy. So you're going to eat crazy. it on the fifth day. It's been four I'm, days. Okay, let me be clear. I'm talking about if you eat something four days after it's made, spaghetti is one of those things where you can pull it off. That's what I'm saying. Okay. I, I can eat spaghetti two days max. The next day, and then probably that Thursday, if it's still there, why did I make so much spaghetti? <laughs> That's crazy, actually. Yeah. If having, you have done spaghetti, having leftovers you for have five a family, days is nuts. And it's like, if it's just you, okay, you probably over proportionalized. You made a little bit too much. How many times can you actually make something just for one person? What? Again. I'm asking, like, hey, can you make spaghetti for just one person? Yeah. You can make a, a serving of spaghetti for one person. That's a you waste of my use, time. You just use. You can. That's you a waste of time, John. You make a spaghetti serving for one individual? Just for one no, I'm plate. Saying, for I'm one plate? Like, That's crazy. Oh, you say just one plate of spaghetti? I'm saying you're always going to have leftovers if I'm you're by you yourself. For like one person. I'm talking about for one plate. So you're going to have left. The point I'm making no, is that you're going to time. You're time. going to have leftovers regardless. That's what I'm saying. And no, so I'm the saying, sample side. One person. I know, but the serving side that you make for spaghetti, like you're not. Are you cooking a, a fourth of ground beef for spaghetti or are you just cooking oh, the yeah, entire. I can eat a lot. That's so what I'm saying. You just eat one big plate of spaghetti. And then probably two or three hours later, I give you another plate. But the point I'm making, though, is that you're just going to what you're going to do is just cook the entire pound of beef. You're going to use the entire sauce of a spaghetti. sauce. you're not going to use like a quarter of it and then use the rest of it later. You're going to use the entire sauce and you're going to use as much spaghetti as possible. You're not going to. You know how much spaghetti you got to make to last for four days? I'm, I'm also talking about I just forget that it's in there. Or I decide to eat something else. Within those days I'm not talking about me Eating on it consistently In those four days That'd be crazy That'd yeah. be crazy That'd be nuts yeah, That'd be actually. crazy That'd be very so, I mean if I had spaghetti That'd be crazy And I forgot if you to ate, if, you, if you made that much spaghetti That you kept eating on it For four days straight And there was still Something left over That's crazy That's, that's what I'm of, saying like, That's I'll, way too much Fucking spaghetti If I make spaghetti I'll I want eat some it chili Depending on what time I make it I want chili dog No cap Go ahead. You're going to eat it without us anyway. Yeah, don't tell go, us. Go, yeah, just don't invite us. Tell us you want chili. Just go get have you chili. Have you ever had um, like chili cornbread, like um, casserole or souffle, or whatever it's called, where like they put the... No, um, that is your own point. I have it. I, I bet it is, bro. Well, let us know how good it is next time we see you. Yeah. You definitely going to get it yep. without us. Did you Did you enjoy Thanksgiving, John? I mean, it was, it was cool. I mean, I, I see my family. What do you? What I mean, you, as you get older, certain stuff just not the same. And then COVID, like you don't got every family. It's kind of like just intermediate, just a couple people. You know what I'm saying? So it's basis, what? It's what to a family? Intermediate, not immediate, intermediate. Yeah, just basically, like, I have just my mom, my grandma, my brother, and I went to my dad. You mean immediate? So that's the immediate family, but you said intermediate family. Yeah. Whatever. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. I, I just said the wrong word. All right. Cool. All right. Cool. cool. You gonna take that from me too? <laughs> And do it without me? Hey, man, before we wrap up the podcast, I guess what I'm trying to just pivot to is we can say what we thankful for, man. Thankful for a lot, man. Don't stare me in my eyes and say I'm that. I'm saying I'm thankful for a lot, man. I'm thankful for a lot, man. I'm thankful for y'all, man. I'm thankful for the Nodi gang out there. I'm thankful for a great, a great year, you know, on this, on this earth, man. You thankful for us? Yeah, for sure. I can't be thankful for you. I mean, I like used to... You used to you say you thankful for it. But you don't really show it though, for real. I'm saying yeah. it right, but I'm saying it right now. I'm showing it right now, but I'm thankful for y'all, man. I'm thankful for y'all being in my life, man. I really am. I truly appreciate y'all, man. Never, never, never forget that. All right, just let y'all know. One love, one love. So what you what you thankful for, John? <laughs> Why are you so upset? I miss. I I, my, I toned. I toned out. My father. Um, but I'm thankful for, thankful for, I'm thankful for life. I'm thankful for, yeah, there you go. I'm thankful for, um, but what, I'm trying to think of a, of a word that can describe what I'm saying without going in depth individually. Cause it's more, it's more to be thankful. You know what I'm saying? No, um, please break you can it say down. The generic stuff. Like that's the, the base stuff, you know, you're thankful for, but I'm thankful for more of the stuff that <laughs> Hey, all your shit know. is generic, no, right? <laughs> all that generic yeah. shit you was thankful for, nigga. You know, I'm really mad. I ain't got to go into that yeah, much detail about that generic shit. Um, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about, about 
life, life, and everything that consists of it. That's, that's not ups generic. and downs, but it's a lot of people that have it worse. Definition of generic. Like you thinking like, dang, my life bad. Somebody got it worse. You know, I saw a post the other day. Uh, Paul Paul Walker said, "Don't ever go to bed mad because somebody in a hospital." That was wishing they could be in your position right now. So shake that shit off. That was so generic, John. You actually gave us a Paul Walker quote just to top off the generic fucking <laughs> thankful shit that you said. Oh. Just don't go use That's it without crazy. me. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Using a Paul don't Walker use fucking me. quote is crazy. <laughs> That's so crazy, dog. Don't tell a stripper. I'm, uh, I'm definitely not going to tell a stripper a Paul Walker quote. <laughs> If a nigga does that, you're also there. nasty, man. Going to a strip club telling the stripper a Paul Walker quote is crazy. Going to a strip club and talking to the stripper is crazy. I'm playing. Let me know. I say, is it? Is it that crazy? No, it is crazy, though. It is. Having when you a, say talking to me, man. Having a fucking for real conversation. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> I had a real conversation while she tried to shake her ass. It's like, so what do you think about, like, the meaning of life? Like, <laughs> So, like, what you do when you're not here, though? Or, like... Those what, niggas what, trying to fuck though. What type of cryptocurrencies? You, okay, you that's, that, that nigga's a sociopath. Are you into real estate? <laughs> that nigga's a sociopath. Yeah, like, you know, there's a plethora of what people. What about the inflation in the in, market right t- now? T- t- <laughs> talk to me about year of year inflation, please. What's your, yo, uh, with that being said, yo, huge shout out to my podcast. People out there rocking with us strong on all audio platforms Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Continue to rate us a five star. Shout out to my YouTube people as well. We forgot to shout y'all out, but make sure y'all hit the subscribe button and notification bell to join Noti Gang, 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 Gang. Also, if any of this content seems a little bit too long for y'all, we got a clips channel, man. We got the clips snippet format for all my people out there who like things in a little bit more concise and consumable form. So make sure you go check that out as well. Link is in the description. And finally, shout out to my word of mouth people on all other platforms going crazy on TikTok still, Twitter, uh, Twitter spaces, IG, et cetera, et cetera. Any final words? Nah. John, any final words? Nah. All right. Catch y'all next time, man. Thank y'all for all the love and support. Peace.